Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting the first game of the day with another series from these opening matches, Rage Forest. Don't worry, I'm going to be there right now. Right now, and Ganji versus MBL. Oh, and they are facing each other. No, actually, La Salchicha is against Ganji. This is this is not Black Forest anymore. These generations, for me, are kind of stupid. Make all more fun, yes, but it's not BF. On the other side, we see who? Repar, Vietnam. Losing already a Villier. Good job. Now Tuvalu is here. He wants to send the Eagle back, but I think Ratek will attack. No, the Wolf is here. What the hell was that Wolf? That he has a Loom? He has a Loom, and the Camel is coming. So, take the damn Wolf. Yeah, he's fine. And Orange is now sending another village, but only one guy in red part. Well, another mistake. He still didn't make the loom. So, if he's not walling this, and I don't think he will, this is disaster, man. Is it still open? <laughs> Just go. He's open still. Is it still open? Yeah, he's dead, man. He has no loom still. Oh my god. He still have no loom, man. And he's open still. And it's still hitting. Tuvalu is down. Repart. Amigos. Repart. Disaster player. Now sending three player, Three villages. One village again without the loom. Okay, that's a good decision. But guys, he has eight. Grace coming. And he has still no loom. Attack. He has no loom. He has no loom. And he's still no loom. Holy shit, just wall. If I am gray, I will wall here. He has no loom. You can't do it. Just, just. Well, now he has the loom. Okay, disaster now for gray. Very good play by gray. He's going away now. And Ratek, gonna let him wall there. But Ratek know that he's ahead. I like it. In the other side, they don't send village because when the map is so open, guys, you don't send anything. Then we have who? MBL with the Malians. MBL Malians. Deal ACCM Gujaras. And this is the problem here. MBL team will have MBL and ACCM as pockets. Um, I'm sorry to say, but that's dangerous. That's really dangerous. MBL and ACCM both pockets. I know that they have FedEx and Wysepi. But if you have to select, if you have to choose, guys, what do you prefer as a pocket? MBL ACCM or FedEx Wysepi? Opinions in the channel right now. Tell me. Tell me. Like, seriously, man. What the hell? What the damn hell? Oh, boy. Nah. No way, man. I mean, Fedex is good, don't take me wrong. But they are not even using this lake. Red will use it. Oh, wow, look at Ganji. They're going to give a lot of map control. Because Ganji is probably going to be scared of La Salchicha. Yes, they do. A pause. NBL pause. Pause are bad, guys. The pause are, are bad. I think I have literally no idea. That's okay. Being honest is very important. If you don't have an idea, just tell. I have no clue. I'm clueless. I'm useless. I'm a bad viewer. Whatever, you know? It's all good. Okay, he wall on the right side. This one is not wall. Anything is wall, actually. NBL going for the lake. ACCM. Uh, Ganji has zero room. He's walling here. Dratek is getting here, okay map, but not here. Well, it's fine, it's too big, actually. Yeah, I mean, like, Grey was going super far. Okay. Oh, guys, look. Idle TC, Repart, 15 seconds, he lost two Belize. Dratek, 1 minute, 9 seconds. That's why right now, 
Dratek is only one Vele ahead, so it's basically what he should be with the Mayans. He should be three Vele's ahead, and now it's the same even population. That's that's really bad. Why he's one minute, nine seconds idle? Well, I mean, if I didn't check, I can assume that when he was doing the Vele war, he got the TC idle, he couldn't micro properly that food. He didn't have the food. And here, a mining camp on goal. I like it. Purple is going to wall the middle here. Why Seppi? Okay. Taking more boards. He's going to lose that one. Nope. Another one here. And now this one. Yeah, the three extra boards. Red is up. No letting him wall. Oh, he's without the loop? Very good play. Yeah, one player down. Well, they, they are very, very greedy and... Did you see this, guys? Ganji lost two Belize, guys. Two Belize lost. My goodness. But Ganji just want to play. Man, this is... This is chicken. This is very chicken gameplay. And honestly, he's gonna have... This is crazy, actually. Well, remember one thing, guys. Salciotto, Salchicha has... Saracens. Saracens. So, if he's not walling fast, the miracle to be wall here is gonna be real. But look at the strategy he's using. Ganji want to stonewall his map, get the lake, and go for the organ goons. Blue need to come here fast. What is he doing, my goodness? What is he doing with the arches? Oh my god, he's not even checking. What is he doing? Well, Disaster. Disaster gameplay by Blue. Not going here. I can't believe what he's doing. He's really trying to go here to the middle. Purple will do a stonewall here and that's it. Wow. You know, it's about decisions. You can be 2.3k because you play amazing in Arabia. 1v1. But that's great for Arabia. You know, really great for Arabia. Andorin, thank you so much for the 11 moons, man. Special illusion, your subscription. Thank you so much, man. And now he's stonewalling. Then he's gonna be up, relax it. He lost two bullets, but he's fishing. And he will do fast imperial with organ goons. Do you understand this strategy? Because I don't. I really don't understand. He needs to attack his opponent, man. Oh, my lord. Anyway, he knows better. He is the pro player in theory here. But now MBL is on the way to castle. He's gonna boom, probably. MBL loves to boom. But yellow is booming as well. He's on the way to Castleage. He has no fish. Look at purple fish. I like it. Sounds very efficient. Purple is on the way to Castleage. And if I was purple, I would just make a tower here. No, man. Not double stone wall. Double stone wall will never work. Yeah, he's gonna break with the Saracen's archers. Okay. Well, all I said was if he's able to. If he's able to break him here, then all good. But let's see now why Seppi need a tower or the Saracens. He's gonna break in. Yeah, even a market key. Oh my god, actually. What? He's going away? He's going, he's going to wall here? Also, Grey with double archery range here. Oh my lord. Well, this can work with the Saracen archers. Because they are not walling. What's happening? Stonewall here. Or Repar is... Repa what are you... Is this, is this seriously? Okay, well. If he still is four valleys, he might be able to wall. No, man. Blue is inside already. And red is going to die through this area. All the fish is gonna be down. 
Unbelievable. I was blaming Blue for coming here, but the Sars and Archers did the difference. Well, did the difference because he didn't make the tower. What I said, you need to make a tower here. But Waisepi didn't. And now they die. He's gonna do a galley here. Two extra tons and he's gonna lose all the fish. He's gonna break here. Red is wall. He's gonna make gate. He's gonna wall another. Red has very good population, yes. But it's still not up to castle it. And the fish is doing now the galley. He's gonna lose all the fish. This is already a disaster for Purple Boom. And he's not even walling here. Well. NBL, NBL team is... Uh, it's one zero. In my opinion. Why? This is open. NBL and ACCM are booming. They're going to go... Oh! He's going already with uh, Sivansa Riders. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Total domination, guys. With this aggression. He has a galley now. He's gonna take it or not. And you can see FedEx. Four tone centers. Booming. And now he's gonna break even here. Oh boy. Oh really boy. Dratek wall in this area. Wall in the map. Very smart strategy. They have guys. If this team get blue and gray go full aggressive. Ooh. Okay. A demo. But doesn't matter. All the fish traps are gone. And I was about to say. If this team just put the flanks going all in, ACCM and, MB, uh, and MBL can do a lot of damage. I don't know what you think, guys. A lot of damage. Red is going now up to Castle Age. With 45 population. Yes. Okay. But MBL is already... By the way, MBL is not fishing boom. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't know how to, how to play how... Well, doesn't know how to play. He's not playing like the the other BF players. The others will have here 30 fishing ships already and will be already 80 population. Well, not 80, but maybe 70 easily. He's doing the four tone center, a lot of farms. And MBL is just playing classic, which is bad because, I mean, it might be okay in this game because it's open, but he's definitely losing a lot of, a lot of advantage from this crazy lake that will be three, four dogs. Yeah, he's not really fish booming. And now Ganji is doing extra tone center. Okay. The fish from purple, as you can see, is bye-bye. Persians is... I mean, he has lost Persian. Persian fish. It's crazy, guys. And to be honest... This is happening because they are not Black Forest players. Here, one tower and all this damage will be gone, guys. Or not. But well, it's what it is. Now they have all the map control. Orange has 37 villages, 3 tone centers, but 37 villages. Not does it have any good boom going. And purple? He has a monastery. But purple with Persian has right now 32 villages. They keep playing. They keep trying. But I think this game is super over. What do you think, guys? No, 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 it's, it's completely over. Viper ATC does the same thing. Yeah, and it's bad. You know, I mean, they have the advantage here because the other team is, is dead already. Like, Felix is doing triple stable, okay. Converted that rider, but he has the arches here. He's gonna be in castle in a moment. Dratek is with the Mayans, you know. Mayans are Mayans, amigos. Yeah, until. Well, I'm surprised with ACCM. Only 66. Well, pretty much the same than yellow. So it's MBL here who is gonna dominate. It's on the way to Imperial already. 85 LS, 23 population. He has uh, resources to make a castle, no. But he can do now, and I believe he will do bomber cannons and uh, whatever, hand cannoneers probably. We will see what is he going to do. But I believe that bomber cannons is the way to go. Yeah, he has a mangrel here. Kanji is gonna drop a castle too. He has good fish. Yeah, he's still doing more even. 
And I will do a castle here. Ganji, he has to do it, but as I told you, Siege War Shop, where's the university? He has here, he's gonna make chemistry. Yellow has now a lot of knights, that's good, but Grey has wallet. He has a lot, a lot of crossbows. And Teal is just doing camels now. No problem then. And Blue has wallet here, La Sachicha. Doing a good job. It's true that he's only 44 villages. He's so behind. He has invested a lot in army. And now he's gonna have the castle. Obviously, Ganji will destroy him if his pocket ward wouldn't come. But this is a teamwork, right? And the teamwork say that Grey is doing damage on the other pocket as well. Purple has only 50 villages while Green is already on 100 villages up to Imperial. He's doing a Ekeliqua, of course. Hand cannoneers. And it's gonna be bomber cannons, hand cannoneers. Chemistry will be super fast. Remember, Malian's 80% faster. And well, I mean, if the scores say that this is close, it's not. It's definitely not. He does have a stone purple to make a castle and just stop the aggression. Because if they break in now with the camels and those archers, la la la, la 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 la, he's gonna make it? No, he won't. Got a lot of army. Where's yellow? Out of position. The mangler is going to be bye bye. He's gonna convert with the mangler or not. The knights are coming. He has a convert with the monks. He has two monks. He can convert. This battle should be okay for yellow. He has the plus two. Plus two Teuton's knights. He can probably kill. Well, it's so many crossbows. They're attacking and purple is in a full titanic mode activated. Green here with the castle, but only three villages. He's doing chemistry, hand card. He's there with two stables and double light. Why the stables now? I don't understand. He has MBL a lot of resources, crazy resources. Still no army. Yeah, well, when he's doing bomber cannons, he's gonna be a domination. And Ganji will die. At least that yellow is gonna send a lot of knights, which is not happening because yellow, the other pocket, Ganji pocket, need to help to this area, which is crazy. It is really crazy. There's one thing that is good. And maybe then Ganji team can can resist. Orange is now full booming. So he's trying to, to catch up and be there in time, which can happen. He has 78 village, he has a lot of food, but no goal. No goal and oath. We'll see. He has one castle already. He's doing rat and archers. But they need the Imperial man. And yellow didn't wall, man. Crazy. It's not gonna wall. It's fully open. Titanic. And now they go here. Well, it's wall is still. He's going there, but yeah, he need to make a gate here, which he's not doing. Going around, gonna make the damage, but guys, MBL is doing camels. Camel bloodlines, the bomber cannons are here, the castle will be down. And now Ganji is starting the party to wall. Why Ganji has this population? Just because of the fish. Without the lake, Ganji will be dead long time ago. So he's alive because of the fish. Because how many farms got Ganji right now? Can you tell me, guys? How many farms? How many farms? Zero. Zero farms in 29 minutes. Zero. The damn zero. You know? So, castle is down. It is true that Ganji won't have any army. Like, I'm trying to see where, where Ganji team could come back, but they cannot. Yeah, ACCM is not going up to Imperial, but he has 135 villages. He's just going for a heavy boom with a lot... Ooh! Okay, okay, okay! Well, 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 look at the arches, man. Look at the arches now. Half of the arches are probably even more. Ay, 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 ay. Well, another, another uh, demo like this, and then maybe they can come back. Because really a difference? Ooh, okay. Well, didn't kill many, but that was beautiful. And guys, ACCM is with a crazy boom, but it's still not up to Imperial. So now, with this amount of knights, no, no, they clean now everything. And they can wall. Okay, they clean everything. But Ganji is in a big problem. In a really big problem. With those knights and the mangonels, how many camels he got? He's plus one camels. It's on the way to Imperial. Green MBL doing honors to cut. But he has now heavy camels. Heavy camels. Blue is coming too. And Ganji... Ganji has good walls. Other than that, nothing. He has nothing, and he won't have anything. He's in Imperial, yes. And, well, he can do Fightorias. He has to move all the villages. But he's dead. Yes, he is dead. But guys, now, Orange? Oh. Okay. Repart is in Imperial. 
Is he gonna be able to dominate here? They need to rewall because they need to recover the map. Let's and Bial, fucking go, man, baby. Bial has 23 camels for hand cannery. His army is solid, but he's just killing the fish. Well, Ganji is just moving villages. He's completely dead. I think the strategy they did, Ganji team was very, very greedy, you know. But the, the main problem is purple. If he wallet here with a, well, if he did here a tower, they will be fine. Right now he's on the way to Imperial with 95 villages. Okay, Gray is not up yet. And Orange need to attack here quick. If he's doing that, oh, he has no ballistic. That's why he's not killing the villages. Going with the trail which it, if he can kill Gray, maybe they can do something. We'll see. The problem is that the Gujaras 150 bullets ACCM is here. A look at the score by both pockets, guys. A look at the score by Purple. Purple is Persians. What is he gonna do now in Imperial? It's pretty clear what he has to do. Halves. What army is going to do? He has 102 bullets. He's doing cavalry. I can't believe this. Okay, barracks. But don't make the 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 skill bar, the armor, make the armor upgrades. My goodness, yeah. Well, Red is moving, and what he has is doing Fightorias. These can help them a lot, a lot. But Purple is still without a single castle. Yellow Paladin upgrade. Those Paladinos can do the job against those camels. Well, MBL is gonna cut. Yellow has to to wall this area with a palisade. Yeah, that's solid against the Onagers. Yeah, he could already. Very good. Very, very good. All right, they are good and gonna raid. Red is here with the, with the villages and... Remember guys that they are super try hard. Every team, well not every team, most of the teams, you know? And even if they are so behind, they're gonna keep trying for a little bit. I feel that this is so complicated, but it's also true that Orange here is dominating. Is this Rat and Archer going to be a note against the Sivansa Riders? Probably not. He's going to lose the traps. He has to go back. The good thing is that at least like this, he avoid that ACCM is going to the middle. But who need ACCM? Guys, by the way, FedEx is playing amazing. Like, really good. You know? He was in the pocket and he has Calvardiers. No Cavaliers. It's true that he has a lot of either villages, but he's normal. He's getting raided. But with this army... He delete all and now bomber cannons for Ganji. FedEx playing amazing, really good. Because he shouldn't be fighting this. He's just saving purple fails here. And now purple is going with the halves, but he is blocked. He's not connected. Now here with the panels and the halves, he can clean this. Yes, he can. But the problem is that Vietnam here with the Rattan archers can do something. Ouch. Maybe halves are needed too. But this a trap widget here that is taking the castle. He's gonna kill that trap? Probably not. He should repair that castle, which he's not doing. And yellow, as I said, playing insane. He should delete this barrack, and then the planet will clean all. What a gameplay by, by FedEx, really. Wow, I'm impressed! 76 army, 39 paladins, 34 halberdiers. Military armor is almost the same, which is crazy. But remember one thing, now Red has Fightorias. I mean, Ganji doesn't have a lot of population. He has 70 villages still and Fightorias. That means he is okay. Are they gonna be able to come back? That will be epic, honestly. Will be epic, but the NBL is still here. And remember one thing, MBL Civilization, the, 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 the later the game goes, Purple, are you attacking here? Yeah, with this army now, MBL will lose everything. These camels are shit against the house. So they're going to die, and MBL is losing a lot. Like a lot. And now, Fed is with the Paladins. The gate is locked! Ganji! The, the gate he deleted. Now the Paladins are going to kill all those. Unbelievable game. But here... ACCM, wall purple, purple, ay ay ay, orange, it's killing here, this is incredible, I mean, it's just incredible, but let's see the Rattan Archers, it's so many, if he's doing half of these and Rattan Archers, they might kill Grey, and if they do that, oh boy, anyway, MBL is still with a lot of army here, but for how long, we will see, ooh, for so long, purple, crazy, He's getting open again because they could. And uh, YCP in this first game, guys. 
It cost in the game to Kanji team, guys. It cost in the game clearly. Like, really, really clearly. You know, but let's see. The series is very long. And yeah, it, it's almost impossible now. He's getting ready. Purple is getting destroyed again. And here, blue and green are together. So, it, it's a good attempt here by, by yellow. But looks. Looks almost impossible. Orange is playing fantastic. Like, after the first two kills that he lost, just look at the amount of farming he has. He's killing here. Like, Gray cannot hold this. He'll need to come with more. He's holding against two, but Purple is unable to stop this. Really unable. He has two traps in the castle. He, he could kill it, but he's not using the trap, which it's, it's not. The Halberdies are coming out. They are. And Yellow is crazy, man. Yellow... Yeah, Felix is playing really well, but he's lonely, man. I'm sorry to say he's lonely. Now he's gonna get attacked completely. And well. Yeah. Let's see. Still coming and Felix has resources, still have food. Not so much gold. And now the other team is trading. They are trading a lot. They are trading already for how long? For how long? We will see. The castle here will help a lot. I mean remember that those riders now in these choke points, they die. These riders are not good. They just die completely. So ACCM, many delays, but no army. But in this area, holy shit, NBL is still with a lot. He has 22 trade cards. NBL is doing trade as he usually don't make it, but now he is. He has trade, a lot of trade. And the problem? Oh, Harvalis from, from Kanji. Okay. Where's the Harvalis, by the way? Are here? Yeah, they are. Harvalis are fine against the camels. Ooh, another demo. And more armor has died by blue. Okay. Still a strong population. Those spines and half are still holding. And BL dropping and dropping army. Orange still killing here. Gray has no army at all. Blue drop it again. And ladies and gentlemen, Ganji team with almost double the army. Well, not double, but 220 and 136. What the real fuck? My goodness, if Purple is able to kill this, they need to send Paladins here. Because if they send the Paladins here, they kill all the traps and then take the ACCM castles. They have to clean them from there. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Red also with a lot of Arbalists. Remember Ganji with the damn Phytorias. How many Phytorias? Well, in this situation, three might be okay. I'm for doing Arbalists. They are coming. And seriously, their army is better, but they need to send them Paladins here. If not, purple will die, and if purple die, then orange die, everything die. Everyone die. But they are not sending. They are busy and out. Yes, they do. But those pies now, it will help a lot more in the south. Here. Do you need to send it, man? Purple is just dead. The whole game is crazy. And now, orange is fighting against two. I mean, yeah, army again getting better. They have the trade. They are doing a very good attempt. But coinage for Ganji. Ganji is gonna slink. All right, okay. Yeah, playing very well, very good here. Another castle, but if they don't help here, they need to recover this area. If they don't recover this area, they don't don't have a chance to come back in this game. You know why? Because they can keep fighting here, but then at some point you can make trade, and then you can go for the trade through this area till till the market's here. Yes, but not with teal in the middle. Yeah, castle is gonna be down. They're still not helping. Yellow has. 60 halves, he needs to send the Paladins. He's not sending and he's not using them. Look, I know that he he probably need, need them there, but it's more crucial, this spot. This caster cannot die, but it will. It's gonna take more army here. Orange is still doing an okay job, but now Gray can focus completely against him. And well, it's about time, guys. Don't think that now they can recover. At least that they make a huge battle here, which is uh, unlikely. And purple? He's getting defeated, guys. Another castle here. All right. All right. Trying to defend that they don't come to orange. ACCM has bomber cannons, trebuchet, elite chatran throwers, and now elite Sivansa riders. Sivansa riders. Yeah, well, orange will need to probably hear some elephants to kill this. He can't. They keep trying. They're doing a good battle here, but now paladins to this area, man. Nah, but NBL is here with the camels. Just call it and go for the next, man. Yeah. They don't. They keep trying, you know. But they have how much trade cards got Ganji team, guys? Can you check and tell me how many trade cards they got in minute 50 on a 4v4 Black Forest? How many trades they have? 
How much trade? Thank you, Piratza, for for the uh, for the prime zero. Literally zero. Yeah, literally zero, guys. Literally zero, which is insane. Really, really insane. Okay. Well, it's true that they are still sending here a lot of army. But Purple and Orange are getting the crash here. Well, if they come here with all this army, they gotta clean this area, maybe. Then here, they have a lot of army to kill Yellow. Can't count now, look at the Paladins. And well... This Bomber Cannon's got Archibuds, so he can do a good job with them. It's true that they have a very strong army, man. Really, really strong army. But now there is Elite Mamelux too. Yeah, Elite Mamelux, not for the bread, but Elite Mamelux. Okay! By the way, do you know, guys, the seeding for, this, for these teams? I cannot find on Wikipedia. Might be in the Rage Forest uh, Discord, but... What is the seeding for both Gandhi and MBL team? Yeah, in the late game? In the late game, they are for sure uh, worse teams. Gandhi seed 4? Gandhi team is seed 4? Mm. Is this really Gandhi team that great? I'm, I'm surprised, man. I know that they are holding really well, but... Uh, Okay, we'll see the rest of the series. Maybe this was a bad game. But they are staying and... Uh, because they, 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 they are fighters, but they are dead. Like, a long time ago. Imperial skirmishes. Okay, and now... Paladins and Diabolis with the Bomber Cannons here. Gandhi has a lot of farming through. He survived because he's victorious. If not, he will be completely dead from 30 minutes ago because what other civilizations get infinite resources with no with no trade and no values, right? Only Portuguese only Portuguese and that's the thing the idea from MBL team it's been very solid if you ask me and they are they are not really finishing because MBL is now only doing those imagine if he was doing Onyx and Kibetos, you know? Yeah, but look at the, the Mamelukes here. Mamelukes are great. They eat also the Halberdiers here now. Obviously, those kill the camels. Thank you for the soup. Appreciate it, man. Who is that? Jorge! 92 moons. Vamos, amigo. Yeah, well, purple is still dead, like, the whole game. And ACCM with the Gurjaras. They, they still try it, man. It's crazy. With zero trade card. With no map control, getting pushed now with the siege rams against Imperial Skirmishes and Rattan Archers. They don't give up, guys. They really don't give up. My goodness. Piper team is seat 15 for his stance. Well. That's probably correct, actually. Okay, let's see. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Redpar played good. Felix did great. But because they are very good players, yes. But I don't know. Individually as a team. I honestly feel that NBL team is a stronger team. I see NBL and ACCM. And only with that, they are a stronger team in my opinion. Or not. Yeah, NBL is the captain. Like, NBL and ACCM both pockets is so dangerous, man. GG, GG call guys, the game was over quite a long time ago, I will say, uh, but they keep trying and trying and trying, NBL did an amazing strategy, NBL team I mean, in my opinion, because, oh boy, oh really boy, they went aggressive, full aggressive, La Salchicha, Salciotto and Dratek, who is not Dracon, it's Dratek, another player, army high, Fedis 111, sick, Gandhi 86, sick, 
but they never got map control. They hold it because they did a lot of farming, but you know, ACCM, a lot of farming. And this is the thing as well. You get all the map control, Ganji, FedEx, Waisepe, Repart, Trade, zero. Zero trade, complicated to win in a late game in BF. You can win if you are going fast. NBL, 10K. Salchicha, 13,000. Tratek didn't need too much, and ACCM didn't trade it also either. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, ACCM with the best Seco, second best Seco NBL. Game two, let's go. We keep going, guys. And people was asking for Sleepy Sweetie. And Sleepy Sweetie, it's in the house. In the damn house. Yes. Ganji is now playing as a pocket. FedEx as a flank. Turks. And he's facing La Salchicha. He is there with the Aztecs. One villager only. He need to wall and fast. This is very good. If he's able to wall. La Salchicha need to wall. No, what are you doing? He's, but why he why he send the eagle here? I mean, losing the eagle like this is disaster now. Oh my god. I mean, this is very good walls. Yes. But now he need green. He didn't take 300 foot that he's gonna lose it for Ganji. 300 foot. Okay, La Salchicha did very bad here. Blocking his eagle like this. 300 foot, bye bye. He's gonna walk here. Oh, okay, this is, this is not good. This is disaster, if you ask me. Yeah, and now he's sending to Belize. He's gonna, he has no scout. Green is not coming yet. MBL greedy as always with the, with the scout not sending super fast. This is bad for the flank. This is really bad for the flank because he's two scout against no scout with two bullets. You're gonna lose now the map control, and with the Aztec, you don't want to lose this lake. Imagine a, a, a castle forward for FedEx with Janissars. It would be a disaster, you know. Nah, they would. They should lose that villager. You know, they should definitely lose that villager. And Las Chicha is is in troubles. Oh. He's gonna, he's gonna save it? Nah, he won't save it. He kill it. And now MBL arrived late. He's gonna take that Valir. Okay, let's see. If MBL help properly, they can do something. But I will walk here. Not in this area. That area is not really possible, not realistic. And if you do, yeah, well, we'll see. Press will send more Valir. He's not sending, seems like not. What happened in the other side? Seems more quiet. Walls and orange walling as well. Repart Malai with two legs. Holy shit. All right. He's sending now three, no, five villages. Ooh. Five villages, man. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I mean, it's fine, but you're using a lot. And one village outside. Okay. He's coming now. And he's walling now. He deleted and wall. He should do a Lambert camp here. Now Red could come with three villages here. I will do that. Delete three, four villages and break this wall and then wall here. When you see that many villages here, you know that your opponent won't be able to do it. And if he's sending, he won't have resources. Red need to send villages here and kill. Really, it will be very good. I don't know if he's gonna make it. I'm. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. The, three, the six boars are on the way to his stone center. How this is even possible with this pathing? Because the developers from this game are crazy, are amazing, insane, the best ever. And I'm telling this because it's the truth. Not because they are sponsoring me with 80,000 for King of the Desert 5. No, no, no. I truly believe that being able to lure six boars like this is absolutely the way to go. But now he's letting one boar escape. What the hell? One billion down! Ay, ay, ay! One boar away! Now taking one billion down! Repart, amigo! Repart, repart, repart! Disaster! Okay! It wasn't the, the smoothest uh, lure ever. Oh boy! Oh really, boy! And. He let this happen. This is also open. What is red going to do? I have no clue. Blue economy? It's really bad, you know? Now it's gonna make a dog. La Salchicha. 
It's gonna make it dark. And then we have Sleepy Sweetie with Khmer Pocket, Ganji Kells. The combination with Kells and Khmer soon sounds strong to me. But the NBL has Bohemians and ACCM Kumans. How is the world spider attack? Ooh. Holy moly, man. These walls are pretty crazy. But crazy. Oh, send, the, send the villager back. Gray. Gray. This villager should oh, stay here. I think he didn't notice. He's really kind of come back with this villager. That's completely weird. He's going back. Okay. This is weird walls, guys. By NBL team. He's walling a lot here now. But the truth is... But now ACCM with the loop. Okay. Starlock, seven moons. He's gonna wall here too, probably. Malai with uh, with the fish is insane. But Gray only need to fight here. And if he fight these are this dog, then Malai is dead. Malai has nothing to do. He's walling more here, okay. A Reaper is obviously going super quick up. Because he's gonna do what? Another dog, I believe, and then fire Gallus. So he's gonna fight for the for the pond. Or what is his plan? Orange. He's gonna do a tower or a dog. He's doing a fire galley. Obviously faster than Gray. Now it's stone wall in this area? Seriously? So you are giving up all this map control? That's pretty crazy. And I'm gonna tell you why. What I will do if I'm teal? Two options. Kuman's boom. Either push here completely or what I think is a, the much better approach. And I'm telling now that nothing happens. Double TC. Castle drop here. A look at Gray. A tower. To be annoying. I like it. I like it a lot how Dratek is playing. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it, it's looking good to me. He's trying to get the boards, but he couldn't. ACCM didn't block properly. All right, and red, feudalage, mining stone and gold. It's pretty obvious that he's gonna make a castle here. You know, this area and Johnny sucks. But what is La Salchicha doing? No, don't don't block too much. Or those bullets will those boards will stop again. All right, now he's doing well. I don't like my mods. All right, blue, dark age, whatever. Uh, La Salchicha is gonna be in troubles. Pedes will be in Castellich before Salciotto by a lot. Really, really by a lot. How many villages he got in the TC to lure this? No villages, man. Oh my god. Okay. Now he is. Okay, one, two, and very nice. Very good. This is a very good lyric. Very nice one. Okay, stone here. Stone walls. He has the tower and fire galleys. But guys, I don't know if you agree. This is... Good evening, Memps up. Thank you so much, Erligator. Erligator. This is an amazing approach by Gray. Malai... And look, he has to fish in this one. Double dog, but now they are sharing the the, the, the the pond, which is bad. But it's still Sleepy Sweetie with Khmer is okay. You know, it's really okay. But, ladies and gentlemen, I think Blue will die. And will die probably clearly. Because FedEx is going to drop a castle here. He won't have a stone walls. You can wall easily here, but... Stopping Janissars without Castle H walls? Boop. Not gonna happen. Definitely not gonna happen. He has a lot of Elysium gold. One mining camp now on a stone too. I think he knows what is coming. But let's see what they do. What I will do. I will move two villages here from blue to this to this area. A stone wall. Because Kumans can't wall. And then this back and wall here. Stone wall here and a tower here. That's what I will do to defend this area. With that, 
he's probably going to be fine. Let's see if he's going to make it. Here he's walling. He's doing one galley only and no more. Okay, blabs it and mark it. Malai. And fishing more. Orange is adapting well to the situation. But the Kumans should really go for the double TC and drop a castle here. And attack from there. We'll see what's going to happen. Everyone is going castle. It's definitely the castle is happening here. Very expected. And very smart. Out of the range. So he's going to break the palisade really quick. Let's see if blue will do what I'm telling you. Stonewall is Stonewall and a tower. Let's see his reaction. Obviously, he has now the resources to go up. Yes, he will. And this palisade will, will go down super quick. But he has seven villages. One village will die. He's doing the outpost now, which is a mistake. He's going have the outpost already a long time ago. He's now on the way to Castellage. And uh, let's see his reaction. Villa down. Now he's going to wall there. My goodness. Stonewall. Stonewall. With those two villages. And wall here. My goodness, this man. Why I'm not playing this tournament? I don't know. Anyway, go back. And now, when you stonewall, fast, make a tower. And quick. Quick tower, amigo. You have to make it. Or at least double. Two stonewalls. Yes. He has to make another. And fast. Or you die. He's doing another on the left. Or maybe even another at the back. Oh my god, faster man! 2.3k man! A tower man! Oi, oi, oi! A tower is needed! He's not moving the village. Do you see how all the players, doesn't matter the rated, they panic in these situations? And you feel that they are struggling like crazy. It's better that he's gonna be up. You need a tower man! He's not doing. You, you just die with feudal walls. He's not doing the walls. He's gonna lose everything. He's gonna lose another village. You need to make another wall and a tower. The towers are helping a lot against the Janissars. They are not going to stop the Petars. But they kill the Janissars. But he's not doing a tower. Why? I have no clue. It's a big mistake. But he's losing the fish. This is very good for the team. Yeah, and Ganji now with four tone centers and this. is going to be in a great position. NBL also has Bohemians and this. So we'll be able to defend another Petar. Oh, the demo. But he's doing another demo. But why he's not doing a tower? Well, now he needs two petars. Now he's not the same. Now he survived and triple monastery. All right. He survived. What is he still going to do? He's coming here. So he's going to go rams. Cap rams, probably. Or he's going to make a castle now. ACCM is going to make the castle here, which I don't like it. I think a castle here would be much better. Man, he could do a castle here. Why he's going to this area? He can wall here. While if you go to his face, I know it's closer, much closer. I mean, this castle is fine, but he can wall. We'll see. Don't like his ACCM strategy. I don't think it's the right one. Because now you can wall at the back. But let's see. If I was purple, I will wall instead of orange. Why? Orange has Malai, no fortified walls. You know? So it's always much better if you are able to make fortified walls here. Yeah, they see the castle? I believe they do. They do, but they are not reacting. They, no reaction. The fish traps now helping a lot. And he lost the dog here. Okay, we'll see. Thank you for following. <laughs> How many monks you got, Blue? One monk. Holy shit. Well... He's dying, guys. He's still dying against this. And you know why he's dying? Because he didn't make a damn tower. If he did... He has 400 stone. Two towers and guard tower, for example. What will be Red doing here? Like nothing. Like really nothing. And also, Tsioto is losing all the fish. He's gonna lose also more villages here. That light game is gonna kill probably one monk. He's gonna... Oh, he converted. What the hell? What is he doing now, uh, FedEx? Yeah, he's killing this one. No, not anymore. And now he's stabilized. So with all this, he's not in a disaster, disaster position, you know. Obviously, he's, he's behind now. And red four tone centers. Well, blue, only one TC. But being being the Aztecs, I wouldn't mind if he just go one TC Imperial. Yeah, having also green coming with you, MBL. <laughs> I handed two bullets, but, but look at Ganji, guys. 113. Because they have what? Look. 
19 fishing ships. You might think this is great. You think this is great? It is good, right, guys? Yes, it is. This is great. You know? 29 fishing ships. 29 fishing ships. Sick. But NBL is coming with ACCM. An orange is walling here now. He has few monks. Okay, you have to defend this area. They are trying to be aggressive. And if they go really quick here, they might dominate. But guys, Ganji is also going up. At the same time that NBL with 14 villages more. But now my question is, what we prefer in this situation of the game? The Celts or the Bohemians? I prefer Bohemians, guys. Why I prefer Bohemians? Well, Hovnice, Hovnice and Halps, also with the gun power units, they destroy and they are much faster. Well, the Kells can go siege rams, can be sick really quick as well. But I don't know. He just need to wall here and try to, to wall all the map. La Salchicha, Salchiotto. Deal. ACCM getting more and more map control. And he's going to go up to Imperial. But Orange is in Imperial already. And this is really good. Because now he can go traps. He can do the average with the monks. And they can stop it. What I don't like it is the civilization they have to stop this. Malai and Khmer. Khmer is going to go cavalry. But Bohemia is coming here with Siege and Halt. So Khmer is not going to do anything. My question is, what is Kumas going to do? He has 104 villages. He has also fish. Not that much, but, well, 14 is great with uh, Kuma's boom as well. Siege Workshop just to, to stop here in case that he's coming. But guys, Gray is booming. He's booming with Bengalis. You know, relax it. Yellow is going to be here in a moment. And the good thing here now is that Blue is going to see the Siege Workshop soon. He's trying to convert, but don't delete. You cannot go or do anything. You will have to defend. Problem? Blue, 47 villages. He's going to be up to Imperial in a moment, as soon as he's doing the buildings. University, yes. But the Turks? Khazar, Janis, whatever. Let's see. This game is so interesting. Really interesting. But Orange got pretty much nothing. Use the monks and the trap, trying to kill this castle. But MBL is going to come. Elite battle elephants. It's still elite battle elephants against Bohemians and Kumans. Not so promising. But let's see. He's going to try to kill the monks or not? One. Two, three, four, and five. He converted two, but he killed all the monks, or not. Well, he saved one. And now he's gonna go in. The good thing, do they see the elephants? No, they didn't. Oh boy. He's coming back now. Onagers. Redemption by Orange. But you know what? If he just wall, and wall more, if Blue just make a lot of monks, he can convert and stop them. No, don't wall here, man. Wall in front. What the fuck? Wall in front, my goodness. Aye, aye, aye. Anyway, we'll see. They are going... I like this strategy. Teal, green, and gray will be in this area. But now we have purple, yellow, and orange. Yellow with not so much. He has elite wood raiders. I like it. I like it a lot. Elite wood raiders change everything here. Because now, the military from MBL is useless with the Wood Raiders. But they have Kipchak. Elite Kipchaks. This combination is going to be nice. The castle is down, which is a, a problem. It's going to be the castle here. So he has only one castle now. Elite Kipchak with not all the average yet, but plus two. And now Kubnice. Elephants. Onegers. Wood Raiders. Ooh. Ooh. And red will be in a much better position than blue. Blue need to wall all the map and pray. And pray? That's the word. Pray. Yes. Doing the halvard deals. Let's see because MBL with the Hovnice is probably going to be very good with the micro. Like really good. He will need heresy. MBL need heresy. He has 2,000 gold. 2,000 gold MBL. So he need heresy and remember that they trade so fast, Bohemians. You know? The creation of the trade cut are so, so fast. Not the movement, okay? Sticking all the monks. Great micro here by by Malai. He basically lost everything. And now it's coming with elephants. Coming with wood raiders. And this army, this composition is scary. It's really scary now. 
Obviously, you need more with Raiders, but he's bringing them now. Ooh, the Hovnishes are great. Look at the micro, killing all the owners. He need to send more Kipchak and more Halvar Diaz here. Do you know another thing? Gray's coming. And what is bringing Gray? I like it, man. Bengali's elephants, guys. Bengali's elite battle elephants. Or he's just converting. He's converting? What the fuck? He's bringing monks. Aye, aye, aye. He's bringing monks. Not elephant. I was high for a moment, but it's just monks, which is good, you know? It's good. And now, red, if he could here, he's gonna clean him. He's gonna clean blue. But blue is wall. So, what should do FedEx? Should go to the middle? Or should go here and kill blue? Blue is rebooming in the middle, but he has 58 villains. Nothing, to be honest. More monks. Ah, uh, more monks. So, with the monks, they can do the job. Uh, let's see MBL. MBL has a lot of Kuvnisha. They need to trade, by the way. Oh, guys. Look at the CCM. Guys. <laughs> he want to make the market here. He want to make the market here, man. Okay, CCM. You are focused, man. You are really focused. He can't go in, man. You need to good, man. Oh, my God. Good markets. Sick. Why you don't make here better? Yeah, all right. Anyway, crazy, crazy. He, he's gonna be wondering why my villains are not going there. Anyway, he's gonna convert those elephants. He's gonna a lot of elephants. Now the Kipchak. The Kipchaks are enough to kill the Wood Raiders. They have fully upgraded Kipchak, but you need a lot more. A lot more. The Wood Raiders are crazy. Very strong? Yes. But, oh my god, oh my god. Look at MBL, guys, with the hoop niche. He's so good with these units. Like, really good. Look, 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 look. Yeah, he's gonna be killing a lot. That's why he's escort. He's killing with Raiders with Kupnisha, man. And now he's gonna defend here, Blue. Yeah, Blue is here with traps, with the monks, and with the monks, he can't convert. 12 range and 80 HP. Blue, please, focus, man. Look at this, Blue. Blue, the owners, man. If you don't wall, oh my god, Blue. Seriously, you're gonna lose everything, man. He's gonna try now to wall. You need to convert. Let's see the conversions. Those are very strong monks. 80 HP monks. But you need to wall. This is bad play by Salchicha. You know? It, it is a really terrible play. Like, you can wall this easily. And he's losing everything. Everything. For nothing. You know? Because Red probably got Kerasi. Remember that Tur got Kerasi too. Yeah, this is a very sloppy play. Super sloppy play. Yeah, he has now blue nothing. Literally. One trap. One trap. Doing barracks now. It's, it's playing poorly. Really poorly. I mean, the key for the NBL team is that blue can hold. And this hole... It's gonna be clean. In a moment. Doing now the blast. It's gonna wall here. It's crazy, man. Well, this is what happened usually to the non-BF players. Like, he has done the right strategy. Going for the fast imp. But he doesn't... In this area, he has a lot of Kipchak. Yes, and Halvard Diaz, he has to move back. Now MBL will have to make army here. He's gonna be able or not. He's trying to wall a little bit, but man, he's not walling any spot he's trying. And now, he's gonna let this open. I'm reading the future. He's gonna be with al -Hassar. He's gonna take the gate. And gonna keep it open. Huh? Huh? You see? He's failing in every move right now. Aye, aye, aye. Look at the MBL, he has to make the gates here. My goodness. And La Salchicha is doing a TC here. Why TC here when you know that they are coming? Oh my lord. What a disaster play by Blue. 18 villains. I'm sorry, Salchicha. I know that you're gonna rewatch the bot to see how I'm casting your games. Disaster. This game, disaster. The previous one, amazing, beautiful player. Now. Oh, MBL also failing. Okay. Well, if MBL failed, then I cannot blame the Salchicha. Now it's a trap. He did on purpose. MBL did on purpose to trap all the Hazards. No, no, no. He did on purpose. Yeah. Now he trapped all the Hazards. It was on purpose. Anyway, on this area, the big deal is that, let's be honest, look at the military numbers. 
NBL team is still winning? Why? Because how much army got Malai here? Look at Repak, guys. He has 121 billions, yes, but he has no army. Zero army Repak here. They could have here Cannon Galleon, but they don't. Now the Hupnichi are gonna kill all the fish. And it's crazy that with one player less, blue, they are probably gonna still lose the game. Still a possibility. You need to make here Hupnichi and a lot of monks trying to finally convert those siege. If not, the Turks can uh, snowball. It's true that Turks army is only Khazars, so Hupnichi and Halps can be a no. But here they are going strong, very, very strong. Now purple, he has not that many uh, elephants and he's starting to make light cast because he has zero gold, basically. Zero gold. Let's see what the Kells can do, but they are killing, man. They are killing a lot and Grain now has Halvardiers, Trebuchets, but they need to defend this area. They have to make fortified walls. Green is not doing. If you don't defend this, MBL will will lose, man. Will lose. Delete the Lambrican. He's gonna delete the Lambrican or not? They are not, so he can't wall. Now he's walling. Okay. Kubnice here now. Khazars and Raiders. He's gonna come with Halves. He needs to wall a lot. Like a lot. He has to wall all the sides. With here with the Kubnice, he can't take the traps. He's gonna cut that, those trees. He's gonna cut the trees. And fast. Yeah, look at this. Oh boy. He, he has to convert the bomber cannons. He's trying to convert the bomber cannons. He's gonna break it or not. Ooh. You need to wall. And he's walling in the last second. Now that Blue is doing good. He's doing what he has to do, but send all the villains there. Well, all the villains. He has no villains. So the villains you have. Sick. He, they are trying to cut, but now, but now the wall. Ouch. Ouch. He's walling. Yes. They need to defend this stupid area, and he's doing now. He need to wall everything. Salciotto, salchicha, or whatever you want to call it. You have to wall. He's going to open. He's going to open. He's going to open. And now again, let's go. Insane. Insane how he's failing in this kind of small things, right? Hornets are coming, Bomber Cannons, Trebuchet, he's doing more castles, you need to defend. Salciotto has one TC safe here, yes, but look at this, Khazars, and he's not wall, he's not walling, and now the Khazars are going to raid the NBL economy. Here they are trying to kill, but they can't, because La Salchicha, it's failing all the walls. The castle is not tapped, and now they have nothing in this area, NBL team. It's dying because in this area, Turks is in a total domination mode activated because he's basically raiding everything because there's nothing, no army to stop this. 152 army, 135. Let's see. They keep going still because purple dangerous here. This is dangerous for sure, but MBL is losing all, all his villages. Do you think MBL has economy, guys? Check MBL gold and a stone. MBL has 5,000 gold, 1,600 stone. He need to finish that castle, which is not happening because he has nothing here to defend. He has three castles. He will have to reboom. He is rebooming, 60 villages. And it's crazy to explain that they mm, can lose the game. It's not over, but they can lose the game against Khazars. Just against Khazars. Now, Elite Ballista Elephants is doing Bomber Towers. Crazy Bomber Towers from Turks. Nice. But here, all three players are still doing the job. Are they going to be able to stop this? They need halves and Hufnische. Let's see, because MBL is the master of the players to, to hold in these situations. But obviously, you need halves here now. If he's not doing halves, he's not going to be able to do it. Hufnische will die. He has no army here. His population dropped it a lot. Really, really drop it a lot. And well, honestly, man, with Aztecs, seriously, this was too easy. Like, really, really easy. You can wall everything, and with the monks, they will never cut. I don't know what he was checking here, but... Yeah, he only had to check this. It was his job. And now, the seeds are gonna be 1-1. One, one. Well, let's see, because MBL is still have a lot of gold. ACCM has a lot of resources as Kuman, and he can slink to MBL. So if MBL get just all army thanks to this link, they can hold here. And if they stop here, 
I'm gonna tell you, they are still here in a very dangerous attack. This is incredible game by MBL, ACCM, and Gray. And Dratek now is coming with elite battle elephants from Bengalis. So many helps. Gonna take the castles. This is crazy. And one thing that I don't like from Ganji is his macro right now. I know that he has no resources. He might be slinking. 170 villages. Some are idle. And he has now 11 riders and 3 siege owners. And now he's doing the halves. Just halves now. Crazy. Really crazy. Okay, they are trying to kill those markets. I don't know. And... MBL need trebuchets. You need to save this area. Are they just focused completely here? Siege rams. A lot of... lot of keep check. Ay, ay, ay. It's true that if they kill the castles... Man, what the hell? Still coming with, with the helps. Now population again. Drop it. MBL has resources. He's sending ACCM. ACCM is slinging MBL. You need to focus here, MBL, now. I know that it's difficult because they want to finish here. They... they they feel that they are in a timer. In a real timer. I mean, Blue is defeated here. Like, really defeated. Uh-oh. Okay, the Bomber Towers are going to fall. Very fast. But still a lot of Elite Battle Elephants. Now Orange having pikes. At least he's doing army. Something. Well, here... And BL don't have army, man. He does have army here. Where's the house? That he has barracks here? No. He's coming with Kuman's Campbells. Ay, ay, ay. Kuman's Campbells. Sick. Plus four, plus four, but they are not heavy camels. You know? More Hubnische. He need Trebuchet. The village is still on the castle. They are not trading. MBL has trade. Nine trade card. And 50 house, but no house here. You need to stop this. It's gonna be able... Hard to know. Now Halvard is here. Doing the castle with not so many villages. But the trade... What happened to the trade? Oh my god, the trade. They are blocking themselves. Okay. Now it's too many Ballista Elephants now. 160 army, 145. They have 200 Villas less. 200 Villas less because it's crazy. Kassar's winning a game like this. Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. Okay. I mean, Black Forest is a lot about decisions, details. Stratis and when you are microing or like in other other open maps, it's less important here. And all what Salcioto has failed here is crucial. We have seen Nolo, for example, uh, Kylar, some of these players that they wall all the map. And you might think, oh, this is this is chicken, this is annoying or whatever. But it win games, right, guys? It win games and it lose games. And right now, they are losing the game because Blue with the best monks in the game couldn't hold one single attack they break it here with the first attempt and it's a snowball so hard just look he got even four relics he had four relics my goodness with the aztecs he could be in a serious incredible position but guys they are killing now a lot it's true that here they are pushing well but they are losing all his base nbl is still with food and with gold but guys nbl is getting killed getting destroyed because he's focused completely here and not really trying to defend this area. And the defend wouldn't be that terrible because he's so many Kassar. But now he has Kabars is a look at the amount of bomber cannons by FedEx. 11 bomber cannons. Sick. With 14 range. All right. He is still going through. So they're going to go into the trade because mind if they kill the trade. Oh my god. Can they can they move then and trade here? They switch bases? Blue is walling, so they keep trying. Oh my. They feel that they still have chances. Well, Grey, 117, 76 villages, 35 army. Remember that with uh, Bengalis, you can have extra population. They still have more army than Ganji team. It, it, it's, it's, just, it's just insane. Can they win? Eh? They are not even walling, man. The trade is here now. Seems like they cannot. Many halves now, but the Kavarsis will deal. He's gonna try to kill the bomber cannons. He's gonna kill few, but he has Kavarsis, Siege Owners as well. Oh, oh, oh. He's killing many, actually. He's gonna wall. He has to, but he's not walling in time. He's not gonna wall in time. Oh, he's doing well now, but he has the halves to distract. And the fish. All right, he's walling. Not anymore. Kassar's coming now to defend, but 
Little by little, man. He's 600 villiers in total. 366. What the hell? The difference is just so huge. The map control is like, what, 75% now? Well, not 75. 65, 35? Probably. And they're still holding thanks that this crazy amount of ballista elephants. Ballista elephants are really bad if you have to chase people. Chase units. But here to hold? Oh, boy. Easy, right? Very easy. Okay. Many Kipchak. Many uh, Hufnishes. And now what? The problem is that here the Turks are still doing the job. Oh. He's killing his own onagers. Remember that these halberds are great, but the NBL population is 80 pop. He's dead, guys. He's dead. He's doing PCs here. GG call. GG call. They lost. They lost. Salciotto failed here, but I really think that when he failed, the NBL should have tried to help a little bit because they were in a very good position in the other area. It's true that they wanted to finish. They thought like, no, if we finish, it's, it's over. But no, they didn't. And they won the game. Nice. Very nice play by Ganji team. Very solid. They did what they have to do. NBL, ACCM is still very dangerous. But content. if one player Keep failed, it it's really difficult living with them. 70 villages, 16 army, 24 conversions. He was completely out of the game. And we're going to go and see game number three. We see Ganji resources. He traded a lot, sent a lot of resources. Pretty sick. Game three, guys. Let's go. Let's keep going now. And uh, finally, we have the game going. Ganji T, NBL. And Ganji, let's put NBL as a teal. The captain, I put the captain colors, and we have always Gandhi and MBL pockets. Gandhi Mongols, expected, and then FedEx Lithuanians flank. Not the most ideal situation for Lithuanians, but you can send three villages because with this civilization, no problem. And he's going for Dratek. Dratek is gonna go with two villages. Berbers, ooh! Berbers are Lithuanians, gotta be fun. What the will do? It's difficult here. And the scout. It's coming. So, big billiard fight. Obviously, faster village for Berbers, but Lithuanians with the greatest start. I will use wall here. Going too deep is going to be risky for FedEx because they have Berber villages. And then he can send more. And then you are fucked. Obviously, the starts will be much better, but still. On this side, Orange is walling. Blue? La Salchicha is not walling at all. Pity for, for him. This is the wall he wants to make. It's too, it's too greedy, in my opinion. Grace will send more villages, even more with with Berbers. But let's see. I think they are trying to get the scouts right now. And now he needs to send, yes. He's waiting a little bit. Why he's waiting too much? Well, first, because he's getting HP. Second, you want to have some economy going to don't delay yourself. Because he knows that Lithuanians is going to be faster. You know, it's going to be um, smoother, sorry. Because they have the 150 foot extra. Now, with this villages, Lithuanians is fuck. Because you have faster villages. Yeah, I think he should have wall in a much more uh, safer spot. And now, don't go with one village only. He's sending another. But yellow is there and more villages coming. You don't want to let to wall here. Great, you need to make some palisade here. Yeah, but very villages is too hard. This is good then. What the hell? If you, if you let that wall happen, it's a disaster, honestly. But you need to send one, two villages, three. Well, it's fine. It's going to be a village fight for a long time. Blue is here trying to take orange. Orange is red part, and that village is dead. So no problem. Now he has to delete all the, all the palisade and his wall. Okay. Red is trying to wall this area. But he sent only two villages, right? Yeah. But Yellow is here. Where's the, where's the scout from, Teal? Where's the NBL scout? Well, he has very low HP, so he can't really help. And now Red is walling here. To be honest, this is great for FedEx. But what FedEx will do with this release? Never go back. Lumber camp here. In this area. Not here. It's too far. If he's going home... Oh, he has no wood for a lumber camp. This is really bad. Because now... Tratek will send villages here and will recover the walls. We will see. Red is going to that area. 
Yeah. He's not. He's gonna wall now. Well, I don't know how his economy is going. No, no, no. He need to. He need to. He need to attack these walls. He need to think that with all this fight, he can't have a lumber camp here. And now, if he's going away, and Dolly Villa is here, to record is so easy. Well, let's see if he's gonna make it or not. He should do it. Anyway, Mongols, Spanish, uh, classic for BF, amazing civilizations. Incas and uh, Lithuanians, well, not that great. And now Gray, he's gonna make the lumber camp. He should recover these walls, really. He should really do it. You don't want to face this civilization with a castle drop or siege and monks here when you have two, three goals in the same area. In the same spot, basically. But let's see. We'll see what he's gonna do. Maybe he just wants to go now for the dog. But I think it's better to recover the map control and make the dog later. Here he's gonna wall. He's trying. Okay. And what about AZZM? Ethiopians. Ooh. By the way, let's remove this because we cannot see anything of his nickname. AZZM there. Sorry. Um, Ethiopians. Six civilization. MBL. Slavs. Both siege owner Sith, but probably the siege for Ethiopians and Slavs going Bojars. Or also siege as well. They have Mongols and Spanish. Spanish trade, Mangodai siege. And now he's coming with another village, another two villages. Man, the Grace will go now with four villages and kill this, man. But he's not doing, so. Yeah. Okay. Playing safe. And he's now doing the mill. What is Rate going to do? We're gonna try to go up quick. Okay, if he's doing this, then I will try to go up fast to village and make a tower here, in this area. Why you make a tower here? Because you get a lot more range, you know? A lot more range. If you make the tower in this area, he can wall very easy. But if you make the tower here, you know, even, even here, no, here is the good one, the first one, and then the second here. Let's see, he's mining a stone. I hope he's doing the tower here, and then the second in this area. Because like this, you cover a lot more map. A lot more map. We will see. Blue. Well, orange. is walling a lot. A new subscriber. Thank you so much, Mr. Johnson. Sick. Really, really sick. He's going to this area. He's going to make it forward here. It will be a mistake, in my opinion. I mean, well, when he see that he's three palisades... But you want to recover this mainly. I don't know. We'll see. He has wall a lot here. I will have done one here. Why also? Because you are sneaky, man. You, you are sneaky. He's going to go directly to this area. Okay. I mean, it's good because he only did two palisades. But now he's going to see you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Machiavelli. Ah. Red is up now, slow, and he's doing the tower now with four villages. I like it. But I like the tower here. No. What you make here, man? Just make here with the relic is or in this area. Then you have one tile more range. Now he's one more behind. Okay. The tower will be there. And now blue. Seriously? La Salchicha is really trying to attack. 69 tiles of palisade. Look. Look at the number, guys. Is that coincidence? No. Oran has been counting all them to, to, to get 69. Let's go. Okay, and now blue. <laughs> well, blue is trying to take all this. But man, what the hell? Well, I mean, they, they die super fast, but... Orange? Mm, I think this is a sloppy. Orange could be here. Doing a couple of houses and then you make a tower. You're gonna give all this map control? This is not good. But it's still. Ooh. Look at this area, guys. It's doing another tower here. And this reminds me a lot to the first game. Now MBL is coming clearly, or he will come with Siege and Monks. And then the Mongols is in a tricky position because with the Mongols you want to boom. Alright? Let's see. Well, he can come also Siege or, or, or Knight. No, but Market and Blast with Siege and Monks. He's up to Castleage. He's to come aggressive. And now Stonewalls. RT range here. Okay. 
Satsioto is spending how many villies? Five villies not working, remember? Those are five villies idle. Is that important, this, this wall recover? Well, actually it is. Because now look how close they are to their trade and they have no map at all. Gray is doing a second tower. Is he gonna boom? He's not gonna go siege. Man, if you go siege, red die. Oh god. Look at the walls he's doing. Obviously, Gray's gonna be in a better position. They are still not wall here. Now they're going to wall. But Gray has a pawn and red not. But red economy? Look at his economy, man. Holy shit. Look at the Dan economy because how many boards he got extra, guys? A lot. Very good play by FedEx. Really nice. Really nice approach. Obviously, you gotta be up to castle faster, but Gray's gonna be fine. He's gonna start to make more fish or more fish. He'll recover all the map, doing more stone walls and recover completely. Now he's gonna wall this area. Okay. And arches are coming. But he's fine. He's a stone wall already. So he has recovered the map and now a lumber camp here. I believe. And the game is going for the boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Yeah, blue is going to go up. Much faster than orange. That's absolutely amazing, to be honest. Why is amazing? Okay. Sounds good. It's not that amazing anymore. Yeah. Oh, two scouts inside. And now you don't wall this. MBL? Uh, you have to be careful. <laughs> like... Hmm, sending two more. Yeah, you wanna wall, but he's walling. You might if he got army. Nah, he's gonna wall. Oh, he's going in? Seriously? Okay, but he's sending now four villies. And with four villies, now red, you're gonna have enough trouble. It was this needed. Well, he's taking more, but he's sending one spear now. The spear will take now. Go, go, go. Just go for the village. Now he's going back. Well, he's delaying a little bit, Blue. But look at how annoying this is. It. It's not microing properly. He's going to send more spears or not. Just send a mana tarm and then you kill Red. Oh, Red is going to go in now. It's... Ooh. Orange archers here. Aye, aye, aye. He's failing, man. This is working then. Now blue is going back. Okay, but why you are doing the... Oh, he didn't see. Sending the men at arms. He's going to lose a village, man. He's going to lose more. Yeah, blue is losing all now. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This was a very good teamwork. Really, really good teamwork. Yeah. Well, this is so annoying when that happened. You feel that you have done an incredible job here and then you fail like this. Yeah, what is Orange Red going to do? He's not going to go... Ooh. Double Monastery. Double Monastery. Uh, why? He's gonna go inside. Okay. Well, let's see. Very interesting. Orange is still there with some archers. They didn't wall there. And what about Green? Nah, green is booming with a Monastery. He feels safe. And now Blue. Blue has 34 villages. Orange 36 is only two behind, but he's in Castle. It's faster. And Satsioto. Has one extra TC. He should probably buy for another. Nope. He should wall this area. Orange is coming with a few archers. But they're still open. And they should try to wall. Because being open is... Oh, he's doing a knight. Okay. He's gonna wall now. Yeah, he made a stable. I didn't see that stable. Now I see it. He's going to be annoying with three archers and one spear. MBL probably is still without the loom. Typical MBL. And they're trying to go and try to make some damage. Okay. It's unlikely. This is all wall. Maybe. MBL has 17 fishing ships. And doing a lot of farms. His last farm bonus. And the list down for MBL. He's gonna notice MBL? No. He don't. He doesn't, sorry. Now he did. And he shouldn't lose anything. Spears. Those archers. Very annoying. Gate. And... He lost everything. The spear bye bye now. Yeah, we'll kill it. All good. And now with the knight, he's just gonna wall. 
Yeah, he's walling all three TCs. And Gray now is doing a castle here. This castle is going to be in time. And look at the walls. More walls. More walls because right now, this castle, what he's going to do? It's opening this area. He can delete the walls and he will try to raid. He needs to wall with more. But this is a dangerous area for sure. Second town center. Red is going to have with four TCs. No, three TCs. This is orange town center here. What the hell? And now we have to analyze the... Oh. Time to delete now. Yeah, delete the walls. He could delete. I think he's open here. No. Now he's not going to delete. He's going to stay there. But he's still not wall. Okay. Let's analyze the civilizations. What combination do you prefer, guys? Spanish, Mongols, Incas, Lithuanians, or Italians, at last, Berbers, Ethiopians? It's kind of complicated, man. You know? But a Spanish bonus straight and Mongols together? Ooh. Ooh. I always prefer that. Lithuanians got how many relics? One relic. It's true that camel archers, Berbers, well, Berbers, camel archers kill, you know? Camel archers kill. And as you mentioned, Mongols can't be only with the Magodais. He need siege and Magodais. He need everything. So they need time. They really need time. And remember as well that the Italians get Genoese crossbowmen. Genoese crossbowmen kills you everything as well. They really do. Lithuanians have nothing against these civilizations. And Incas, Kamayuks can be good, but not against Ethiopian Slavs. I'm not so sure, to be honest. The, I mean, an ideal combination, the Magodites and Sichones dominate, but they need a lot of resources. And now we have MBL and ACCM both on the way to Imperial. Let's see what they are going to use. MBL is going to cut fast here, I think. He's going to try to cut. But now they are not coming together. Green is coming here with a castle. They're going to cut as well ACCM. And what is ACCM going to do? Is doing Arvales? Arvales? Really Arvales? It's a bad choice. A really bad choice. Yeah, I mean, with Ethiopians Arbalest, you're not gonna do anything here. At least as you are going to be incredibly fast, which is not gonna happen, because purple is gonna go Paladins. He's gonna go Paladins. And then he's gonna wreck the green. This is bad. This is really bad. But, well, Slavs is there. MBL with halves, then Arbalest make no more sense. Going together, it's gonna be Siege and Arbalest, and then halves through Sinia? I changed my mind, guys. I changed my mind, and they are going to the left. What Teal is doing here is not gonna cut. He's going to defend his opponent. He's doing uh, Nomads, okay. Yeah, Mongols need a lot of time, guys. And this is gonna be much faster for MBL and ACCM. We'll see. We'll see. It's all about the timing, about the momentum. He's walling more. I'm zooming out, guys, just to see the whole thing. When there's big battles, I will zoom in, all right? I will. I know that Nomad's OP in, in, in Black Forest, in Rage Forest, yes. But I'm, I'm just, was just curious because we don't see that upgrade so often to have impact. And to do it. Yeah, the archers are coming. He has some monks now. Delete the walls. Delete the damn balls. He's gonna break it here. Delete the damn balls, blue. Now he delete everything. He's gonna break in that spot. Okay, it's open that area. Yes, it is. And he's doing the castle. Oh my god, Repar defense is open. It's also open here or not? He can't make it. Oh my god, it was open all the time. Ay, 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 Repar see the walls. La 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 Well, like this, you die because your team need time and he has zero walls behind this. 
Zero Wolves on his base. Now he's gonna take the house. And Orange has right now 84 bellies and two monks. The Arbalists are coming. And MBL. Go, oh, MBL. Look what he's doing, MBL. Playing amazing. Gonna cut here. He cannot see it. Orange can see it or not. Oh, man. Condottieri. It's laughs, Condottieri. Orange is gonna be in the damn hell. The Condottieris are coming. And MBL is gonna cut or not. He's cutting because he has nothing here. And he's there with the Condottieris. Purple Paladins. I mean, halts are needed because the Paladins might clean this. But now they will have one player pretty much out of the game. In this area, they still, he's still booming. He's in Imperial. He has Camel Archers. And well, Orange Repart is bye-bye. You know, it's the same mistake that in the previous game. Like, the players that are not Black Forest Specialists just die so easy against this. Do you notice, guys? Very, very... They die so easy because they are not used to play, so they don't pay attention to these details. We have seen many games in the previous days that the players use as flanks to wall all the map earlier, zero defense. Orange is out of the game right now. And now, this is Halberd, this is an Arbalest. He's gonna have Paladins and Magundais. Uh, Elite Magundais, 11. But Purple is also losing map. And what map control they have now? No map control. Obviously, Paladins and Magundais together is a sick combination. And he's doing now Supremacy. I like it. Purple playing really well. But they are on their economy. And those are Halvardis with Drusinia. That he has Drusinia. I don't know if you saw it. Onage is out of the game, by the way. And now Blue, if if he's able to join with the Genoese crossbowman, it can be sick. But guys, Purple and Yellow Army is so good. They're going to clean MBL. They're going to clean MBL and ACCM. But the good thing is that they did the damage on Orange. You know? MBL now need to do a lot more halves. He's spamming Halvardis. Yes. But the Magunda is on the Paladin's domination. And with Villiers, he's killing the castle, man. Just take it. Yeah, man, look at the spot here. The Mongols. And... The Spanish civilization. But... Orange, 55 Villiers. Out of the game. And soon, when the Genoese crossbowmen are there with fully upgrades... Because this is going to be now Slavs, Siege Owners, and Halves. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a real problem. They have to go back now. They are coming with the traps. I like it. I like it a lot. Red is gonna go what? Latest. Latest. Gray is still booming. Army? Not at all. Not at all yet. His castle is gonna be down. He need to cut the, the, the trees probably. How many halves he got now? Wow. 49 Arbalest, 14 halves. And more halberdiers is coming. Ballistic for teal? Why ballistic? What is he doing to make Ballistic? I don't know. The castle will be down. He's behind those. And now he's attacking the Paladins. Look at the, uh, look at the ACCM doing an amazing job here. Really, really amazing job. Hornets is still trying to reboom, but he's still kind of cut off. Siege Ornegers from Ganji, who is playing very well. As suspected by a player like him, right? Yeah, Sleepy Sweetie really playing very good too, but 50 either bullets, guys. Look his economy, guys. And like this, it's gonna be difficult to have a good economy in the long run. You need to fix them all. And now, with seats, halves, and arbalest, they're gonna be able, I think they will, be able to hold because they need time. The problem is that siege owners from Mongols are going to be there. He's cutting a guy. Oh my god. He's cutting a guy and trying to make damage. I don't know if this is what he has to do, MBL. Because you don't want that they click here. You want to finish here. But he's gonna break here. Ah, and raid again. But you don't have army. This is Elite Genoese? No. Not Elite Genoese crossbowman. But it's also true that if you could here. Oh boy. They are not they do not notice, guys. You, you don't let them trade. But there's three castles. It's not gonna be easy to, to attack there. Elite Camel Archers, not fully abraded. Elite Genoese crossbowman. They are trying and cutting from another spot and distracting, but MBL too focused here. Because ACCM army. Ooh! 
The sea chorners. Aye, aye, aye. No, but now he's losing a lot of mag, guys. And the big deal is purple doesn't have resources anymore. They are just dying with these crazy civilizations because a guy in MBL team playing much faster. Much, much faster. They are very strong here. Ooh. A little late this. And see Chorners. But the problem is purple. 165 bellies, six army. Six army. Why that? He has pal he has resources. Um, spam paladins, amigo. Well, he's trying to fix the idols or something, but spam paladins. An orange? Still dead completely. Completely dead. He has two tone centers in this area. That's the good thing. Well, let's see. These elite camelarches are really good, but he will need some help. Oh, man, those are so tanky. Look how he's killing the ladies, man. Oh, my God. They destroy the ladies, and the thing is, these elite camel archers destroy the Mago Dice as well. Yeah. What is MBL going to do? It's still cutting here and trying to raid. Look at the elite Genoese cross woman killing everything from orange in this area. Okay. He's going to kill this each owner or not? Yeah, he's not paying attention. Just look. Not paying attention. Now he will. Now he did. And he lost a lot. Yeah, and in this area, finally, finally, is a man that is coming. What the hell? They're pushing back. I mean, it's good what the MBL is doing, trying to cut all over the map, and but not finish in any, in any spot completely. It's dangerous because if the Spanish team is trading and recover here, oh boy, they could have finished already orange. And orange is still with a 106 bullets, okay? Anyway, they are raiding a guy in here. Obviously, they are starting to trade, as you can see. But, well, let's see. More halberd is. Yeah, I really believe that now Ethiopians, it's time for ACCM to make Siege as well. ACCM has good resources. He should do Siege. Remember that Ethiopian Siege is much better than Slavs. Yeah, and here, together, they are holding, man. A little late is plus four, plus four. They have only two relics, I believe. Okay. Bombard cannons hit a little all the walls. You need to kill the siege, guys. But MBL is gonna lose those. Uh oh, he's losing all. Well, siege on is from Mongols. Pretty sick. And didn't kill anything. Good job. But the camel archers? They are sick, guys. Look how many camel archers from Cray. Impressive. A lot of farming, man. Really, really a lot of farming. Big deal here. No trade, guys. You have a Spanish and you don't have a trade. And here is with what? Eagle Scouts, guys. Repart has Eagle Scouts, my goodness. Eagle Scouts is what he has. Not even Eagle Warrior, man. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Condottier is coming. Well, he's one player out of the game. Like, they are trying. They are doing a big effort. But they have one player less. Obviously, if they kill here now, be careful, right? This is why now I think Gray need Bombard Cannons, but look at Ganji now. Not microing the Onagers. Losing the Onagers against the castle, that's not good. Yeah, that's really not good. Obviously, the Bombard Cannons are coming, but in this area, they can push back? No, they cannot. Eagle Warrior now. Do they have trade? They don't have trade. Where are they trading? In these markets? That's too short, even for a Spanish trade that they have. Bonus. Yeah, they don't have map, guys. They really don't have map. Late is coming, more bomber cannons, and now the Khazars. Khazars and camel archers coming with the Khazars. Let's go. Well, if you kill all the bomber cannons, it's insane. It's really insane. You need to be careful. The latest are very good, but Trebuchet down, all the seats down. Now going back, the camel archers are very tanky, guys. Very, very tanky. Need to repair this castle, though. And here. Slowly, but the steady. They're still going. Orange, 122 bullets. Eagles. Eagles with what upgrades? Plus four. Okay, but not elite eagles. Now they will. The elite eagles can do the job here. With all the upgrades, yes. Without elite eagles, no. They're kind of cut off. They need to kill this army. The pines are coming. He need to kill the siege. Magodai, siege on Let's see the battle boom. He's going to be able to do it or not. Ooh. Here they still hold him. But they are trying to recover. Where's MBL right now? MBL is playing kind of his, his own style. 
which usually is working, you know? Because he's distracted, he's going to take the castle. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Well, did we, did we miss it? It's fine, because we're gonna go back. We see you already. Uh, let's go slowly. Uh, slowly. And the, the huge Balaboom is here. It's gonna be here, right? Yes, but it's very important in the middle. Now the next one is going to be here. And not bad. Not really bad, but still, this is more important. Why? Because he's taking the siege now. He's taking the siege, and if you take the castles, they are dead. You know? So this is important about the Balaboom he did. Yes. Is crucial? No. Because they are dying. They are still dying. They are dead, man. They are absolutely dead. Now Repart has been really sloppy as as Blue was before. The Aegis are gonna try to kill this and maybe he's gonna do the job. Okay. Might clean this. And uh, ACCM needs something else. They really need something else. And BL is coming, guys. With Elite Voyards, guys. Elite Voyards and taking the castles. Only two castles left for the Mongols. And look at the Camel Archers. Nah, it's over. They are struggling to finish. Not struggling. It's just difficult to finish. Because the player has crazy units here. But, yeah. Elite late is on then. Great can go forward and kill everything here. Uh, it's just impossible. And when the Spanish is going halves, you know that something is not really working. They have no army. Yellow has 16 army. Orange 4. Blue 58, but the handed really is, so his population is struggling. Now you just need to go with Trebuchet, Bomber Cannons. And well, they are winning in all the spots. In literally all the spots. And you have seen three games. In the two games that the flanks from NBL team has going aggressive, I will say that has been clear wins. Because this game is not over because they don't resign, but they have a huge advantage for so long. Or not, guys. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, they are now in the trade. Yeah. And well, the trade is very short. How much they are taking for the trade? 36 gold for the trade. They are going there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's real domination. It's real domination by NBL team. It, it really feel that... Uh-oh. That the flanks here... Are not being as smooth as all the days, you know? Like, they were walling a lot. They were holding with the walls. And, uh... Yeah. In the previous game... Satsioto lost quite fast. In this game, Repart the same, right? And now Satsioto with this crazy elite Genoese crossbowman. 89 elite Genoese crossbowman. Whoa. Losing with the Spanish and Mongols uh, is rough. It's really rough. Look how the Magunda is dying. Yellow now 175 villages, guys. 175 villages, 12 army. Eight Magunais, two Onegas, CG call, NBL team with the domination. With the domination. And honestly, this is how they have to play. If they play with the flanks very aggressive, they're going to win the series, man. they definitely going to win the series. I don't know what you think, guys. But they will win the series for sure. Military, as you can see right now, Ganji killed the most units. Doesn't matter. Repart got basically nothing. FedEx couldn't do anything with the 72 army he got because Stratec got 73 and his camel archers. I mean, the KD was better. ACCM killed a lot. And even if MBL lost a lot of units, did a great job. A really, really great job. They have trade. Well, the other team got nothing. Salcioto even more trade than anyone. And well, game four, it's coming, guys, with MBL team with the domination for now. All right, we keep going. Game four. Game four, four, four. It's a starting right now. And, well, expected. But NBL peak, they are using the civilizations they they need right now. Byzantines, Hindustanis, Korea, and Britons. NBL peaks, civilizations, very solid, I will say. Yes, they are the colors now. And Ganji is back to be flank. Sleepy Sweetie and Repart Pocket. Ganji flank, but this map. Oh my god, this map. Ganji need to walk here. I mean, don't go farther. 
It's gonna go here? That's dirty. That's dirty. And he's gonna lame now. Alright. He's laming. What are they doing? Chicken the lakes. The lake is booged. The lake is booged. Yeah, they have one, two, and that lake book. So all these waiting. And now they're going to restart. Pond trap. Oh boy. Of course he won't hurry. He won't hurry. It's a restart, guys. It's a restart, stupid map. It's not only bug the pond. Just look. Stone gold, relic, stone gold. Pretty much all the extra resources are bugged. Let's go back. Yeah, they continue. I'm gonna tell you why they continue. They like the map. He's walling in front here, which in my opinion is, is not gonna work. They continue because they have one, two, two lakes. This one is kind of in between both. And then only one and two lakes also. In my opinion, this is a mistake by Ganji team to don't call the restart. Because if you think about this, Ganji map, of course if he wall is okay. But if not, his map, I don't like it. It's very small. And this is all full open. ACCM Korea. Okay. We'll see what's going to happen here. And they're fighting here. He needs to send more valleys. Ganji is very good in these kind of walls. In these kind of situations. He's coming with four valleys now. All right. And red. Laming. So they changed the strategies, man. We see how now Ganji team is going all aggressive. And look at the walls he's doing here on his face, man. That's pretty sick. Seriously sick. Let's see what the MBL is going to do here. MBL has Byzantines. But guys, MBL has Byzantines as a pocket. Interesting choice. And dangerous choice, actually. Pauls, they regenerated the HP. He walled the berries. He's limiting everything now. Okay. Scout. One HP more. He need to kill that scout. And it's not going. Let's see what they're gonna do. Korea is a very slow civilization, remember? While Sleepy Sweetie, Machiars, he can go easily here and take the wall with one hit. Only one hit. Orange. Well, what is he gonna do here? Can he's gonna make a Lambrecam in this area? With this hunt? Yes, he's doing and now he's gonna wall this. Honestly, if Grace not recovering these walls, this is an amazing move by Ganji. I wonder what they're going to do. Like, seriously, what they're going to do. This is going to be wall here, of course. And Ratek has Hindustanis. Cheaper resources. Cheaper village, sorry. Look at those 300 foot by, by yellow. Lame it to MBL. He's with Sicilians. Sicilian's Echo is very good. Remember, the farm's bonus is sick. And why he's going to go up now? Why he's going to do the loom? He's going to go aggressive? He's going to try now to, to lame that Valir. He will try. But MBL is the master of this. Uh-oh. He's the master, but... Dangerous? Nah. He's okay, man. He's okay. I'm taking two extra boars. Perfect. Yes. Very good. And now... Under the TC. Perfect as well. What is Red doing? Walling all the map. As you can see. Village from Red. Not inside. And La Salchicha. Need to make a... A building to go up. He has resources? Not yet. So he's fine. Gray bringing another boar. And Yellow still didn't find this. Sorry, Green didn't find this, and he probably not gonna find it. But yellow is up. And I don't understand this uptime with 20 population. He's gonna go scouts. Oh! Is he still in bonus? He want to make horse collar? No, no, no. He's going the scouts as a pocket. 
this is interesting and, and dangerous. But they change completely the strategies. They are going now very aggressive gameplay. Ganji team, which I love it. It's going to be more interesting to watch for sure. But great 20 population up. While Ganji is not up yet and now bringing a lot more extra boards. That's why they also don't resign. Don't uh, go for the restart. All right. They feel that this can be a good map for them. And Barak as well. Wow. Both pockets going full feudal, guys. Full feudal. Oh, boy. Oh, really, boy. And? Nah. This is still going to be annoying, but not going to do anything. Yeah, look at this. And? Going to steal urine. Ooh, not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Sorry that I loud, but what the fuck, man? He lost a scout, you know, and now he's taking the boar. My goodness. Well, it's what it is, man. It's what it is. Three boars, and now it's scout from yellow. It's scout from purple, and they explore it. So ACCM is walling. Gray is going to be fine. It's going to make a spears. This is not good. Deal. He's doing towers. I didn't notice that ACCM is going aggressive too. Whoa. Towers with the pocket Korea. Fizz as well here. He will now his base and now. Gray. Ooh, but MBL is just walling his base. And Blue will walk himself. This is a very good way to go. Oh my God. And now Red. That is Dark Age. Blue need to come here and wall. Blue, you need to wall here. He has to wall in front and then they are in a perfect position. This aggression is not working to them. Now another tower from AZCM is gonna make it or not? Kanji? AZCM tower? Yeah, but this is the thing. He is still wall here, but now Ganji? Is, he has zero, zero resources. He's not gonna go up to Castleage. Scouts, spears. Machias and scouts are sick. So he need to make some speed. He didn't. And now the scouts is in, are inside and gonna lose some bellies. Reaction is fast, but those Machiar scouts, solid. Gonna take one belly. It's not terrible. And the spear is coming. It is okay. Just wall a little bit the woodland. And no problem. Yeah. He's walling. And now? I mean, the bad thing here for ACCM is that these towers, Korea towers, don't have any, any bonus right now. But time to go for the middle and make the damage to purple so guys there's only one player only one player that is booming in the game who is the player guys we know right mbl is the only one going fast castle and now blue has six men at arms and two spears by goodness the britons but guys with a big mistake here with a really big mistake you know not walling here. You make a stone gate here. Well, a palisade even. And he's in a perfect position. And now he's going to be annoyed. Really. Yeah. Red now is going to go for the economy. Poles. Yeah. The idea was good, but not working, guys. And this is a lot of scouts. But spears are coming too. So he's not going to wall here. He got the scout machiars, but both are going army. And orange is just a stone walling here. And not doing any uh, any military. Well, let's see. This is gonna be no. This is a really fun game already. Uh oh. Gonna take the villain? No. Blue is gonna wall the woodline. He's sold. Or he would be in troubles. He's doing the spears, but. Uh oh. Wall this, man. Wall in front. Blue is. Ooh. Oh my god. I don't want to look there. I don't wanna look there, amigos. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Did it in, did it in, did it in, din, din. Well, he's gonna find now the the wood. No, he missed the wood line. He will destroy here, but he didn't see it. Now a tower here. So they are going to the middle. Red is on the way to Castleage. MBL is gonna help or he's gonna boom. Because if he's not helping, then Blue might be in troubles. We'll see. He forced the pocket to make an archer range. And population, you will need some fish traps here, Mr. AZCM. So let's see. He's stonewalling here now. Okay. 
Mana times on yellow, guys. Mana times on yellow. It's gonna take the mail. We'll take it. Three. He's booming, guys. And Bill is booming. Greedy boy. But blue. You need to wall. Fedes is gonna destroy you, man. Poles. Or not. He's doing the barrack. So, yeah. He will. And now his wall. Uh, this is this is a sloppy play by La Salchicha. Yeah. I mean, he's doing damage, you know, but... You have to wall yourself, man. Stonewall. If you wall here, you, he will be in a great position. But now, he's Fook. He's really Fook. Or, MBL can help. Because MBL has three TCs. We'll see. We'll see. Don't go in advance. Now purple, in troubles. Orange, Ganji, is gonna do what? Well, he has no stone yet to drop a castle or anything. He's up to castle with a lot of fish. He's not doing army, but... Gold, stone? What is planning to do? I don't know. Let's see if this strategy is gonna work. It's so chaotic and a lot of question marks here. Red is inside with a stable. Another four work. Pretty sick, guys. This is the games that we see in the lobbies, right, guys? Full aggro all. But ACCM is still not up to castle it. He has to be up to castle it soon. Or problems. Blasmith? And what about Grey? Grey has a lot of spears, but is he killing something? Not really. And Purple has a good population, so they're actually fine. Well, the, this tower is so annoying. Okay. He's gonna go and kill Yellow. Yeah. And now, Blue can see the Siege War shop. Doing the Blastmith. And Blue is not even close to go up. What he should do now is stable to make... I mean, Blue need to make full army... Feudal army. That he has a stone. Not mining a stone. And then move village also. Just in case. Yeah, but guys. I'm gonna tell you something. Attack a flank that is already in feudal age. When you are... With your pocket in... Just in castle age now. And now getting killed some village here. Is not good. Because... You are using two players. To make damage to blue. Well, MBL 40 C is going. MBL will kill everything, guys. MBL playing properly here. Still kill everything. Ganji? Okay, resources. I wouldn't be surprised that he's going Imperial. But MBL will go here and total domination. Let's see. Remember also Byzantines. Up to Imperial fa uh, cheaper. Yeah, he's gonna lose here. But Blue is on the way to castle it now. Okay. He just need to try to hold. He's doing a lot of spears. This is not good. Red and yellow are doing damage to one player. 39 bullets, 39 bullets both. Now he's losing. Blue has 35. Okay, they are killing. Some bullets. Oh, yeah. No problem. I will delete some bullets, some palisade here. Move bullets away. And when you reach castle, if you make some extra TCs, go here. Town centers. On MBL side. We'll see. What Reds will have done maybe here? Try to go with villiers and wall off is the only way. But right now, big problems. Teal is up to Castellage. Great is up too. He's coming here with Mangrels. But guys, he's even doing towers to defend his teammate. He's now doing fletching. And ACCM is still here. So he's going to be annoying on, gra on purple. Purple what he has. What purple has. That's crazy, guys. I know that Ganji team seems to be ahead with the score. I don't think they are ahead, guys. Not for me. Not for me. Yeah, MBL doing double monastery now. 70 villages, guys. MBL, four tone centers in the 22 minutes. While the only one that is now doing the 30 C is yellow. Orange, two tone center, but now in 40 seconds. Uh oh. Purple have his scouts also here. Gray was doing a stable outside. Why outside? Disaster. Doing another tower. Ooh, a castle here. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Let's see what they do. Gray is kind of corner now. And Ganji going for the full aggression. What is now ACCM going to be able to do? Red got good amount of knights. He did a tall center here to protect the wood. And now the monks and the spears, we'll see. I still don't see this coming. MBL with the monks, with the redemption, going to the right side. I like it. He's moving there. The tower now gonna help a lot. 
really, really a lot. And Orange now, problem is that he's not going to go up. These towers are now sick. Siege War shot. I still prefer MBL team position. You tell me, guys. Camel's gonna clean this. And this castle is doing what? Getting the map control here? All right. Just move and go away. Send Villiers away, Mr. Blue. Yeah? Just move Villiers, man. What the hell? He couldn't send anything because he deleted now. And what is MBL going to send? More monks. He has to have 93 villas. Now yellow coming with few knights. MBL needs a crazy multitasking now. Let's see if he's going to be able to do it. He's the only one with a crazy boom. The others all very low. And now MBL is not microing the units because it's very difficult. It's really difficult and he's not going to convert anything. Yes, he's not going to convert anything. Okay. He's still with a mangle. He has to be careful, the monks. Don't lose it. Red, 50 is 17. Blue, need to go back. It's not doing. It's going to convert or not? Tick tock. Tick tock. So yellow now. Maybe should go several stables and... Yeah, he has two stables and spam knights. Yeah, maybe. Green is going to the middle. Ooh. But now the camels. I, I, I. I'm not sure what the MBL is doing here with this army. Well, trying to kill purple. He has 105 villages, 17 army. And now he's going to go up to Imperial University. All right. But orange. Still attacking one player. Yeah, I mean, Byzantines. Let's see what MBL can do. Yeah, but ACCM is also booming and it's still in the middle. They won't trade at all. Five tone centers. And now, he's not finishing this. MBL could be up to be beetle already. What is Blue doing now? Trying to defend this. He has a mangrel coming. Yes, these monks will help. Is If he convert the knights, let's see. He has to kill... He has to convert the mangrels with the monks. He's gonna come with the spears. He has to be careful with the monks. Oh, baby. You have to convert few knights. Now, kill. Kill the mangonel. He's gonna, he's gonna attack. He's not attacking. Now he did, but he's not attacking the mangonel, man. What the hell? Zero micro by blue here. Losing everything right now. Red destroying blue because he's been a little bit... Cuckoo. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Green is up to Imperial, but I insist that MBL should kill all in this area for sure. On this one, if he's doing a castle here, then Gray is completely cornered. And I can't believe, but Ganji should wall off here. And then Gray can't run. You know? Can't really run away. I don't understand why the players don't move Villis to the other part of the map, but still. MBL is gonna still cut and, 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 and raid or what? Yeah. Well, MBL 124 villiers still. While everyone else is so behind in numbers. But ACCM 79 villiers only. Hmm. Okay. Still doing problems for purple. Yeah, but MBL is here. He's also annoying to yellow. He's gonna make a castle there. Okay. Yeah, but he will kill Villiers to yellow. Well, let's see. And now he's coming with a lot of farming and MBL will clean all. MBL will win this game, in my opinion. Let's see, I might be wrong. That fucking castle at 100%. The new patch is gonna be great because, man, 100 is a lot, man. Really, really a lot. What is Orange doing here? Oh, and MBL didn't even wall? He has a castle here. But a gate here will be good, you know. What is now Teal going to do? He has no defense at all. Yeah, but but again, you know why I think NBL team is really ahead? They are focused too much on Gray and Blue. I don't know what you think. They let they leave NBL and ACCM and Torch. Basically, they didn't do anything to them. And the best two players are getting. As strong as economies. It's true that Orange now has 110 villages. Why? Guys, look. The fist boom here by, by Ganji. Ooh. Oh, boy. That's pretty sick, actually. Let's see. And now Yellow did first crusade. Yes. He did first crusade, guys. He can probably clean now with those damn surgeons. But he's going cataphracts. Cataphracts, man. He's going to clean everything. Now he's well enough. All right. But doesn't matter because this is... It's going to clean here or not. Onagers, 
And he will cut and raid and kill everything with cataphract. But he's fully open. Is this needed? Well, now Blue can recover the map. He has the pikes. We'll see, guys. And Bill is going Onegas and Cataphracts. Onegas and Cataphracts. But you don't need to cut. It's open. It's open, my goodness. Everything is open. The problem is that this NBL gameplay, if he's not working, if he's not going really fast, Gray's gonna be defeated. Like, literally defeated. You know? And uh, you need to kill quick. Otherwise, total destruction, guys. Oh, man. They're going to wall now. NBL! NBL! I, I, oh! Well, he has on, I guess. He's okay. Yeah, let's see, guys. Let's see. There's a lot of things to pay attention. Now ACCM going to be up to Imperial. Yellow is in Imperial. Gonna go Pikes. But, guys, Pikes against Cataphracts. Pikes against Cataphracts. He's coming with more villages. And MBL will do another castle. Here he's gonna cut. And he's gonna destroy red and yellow. The Cataphracts are already there. Good luck killing them. But, man, where's the patrolling, man? Patrolling? He's gonna trap the cataphracts, man. No? It's, it's, he, he trapped himself. MBL, I don't know where, where's he checking, but now he deserves this. He's gonna make a castle. He's gonna be in between both. But now, guys, blue is recovering. 68 villains, not a lot against red. You need to kill. Like, MBL is not killing. You know, he's gonna make a castle here. But he need to kill red. Or red will will kill blue. Yeah, he need to kill quick. And really quick. Let's see if he's gonna make it. Because Orange now has a crazy boom now. Dratek. Oh! The Dratek escape. That's absolutely huge for, for them. Because right now, MBL... Oh, man, this castle. Aye, aye, aye. And now he's cutting. Doing how many upgrades? The cataphracts. Elite cataphracts. Going in. He's going to cut fast. No, he won't. It, but the owner is there. He need to raid. Blue is going to recover. And now, ACCM is in Imperial. And he's in the middle still. Doing towers that are going to be keep towers. Purple is will never go up to Imp. And you know what is the mistake here for Ganji? The big mistake for Ganji? He has 200 population, but he's focusing one player, guys. In one player, when MBL and ACCM are delaying everyone. Purple, yellow, he's here with elite cataphracts, he's gonna destroy everything. And Ganji is killing a dead player. Just look, he's dead already. Ganji should be already in the middle or killing ACCM. This is the big mistake by Ganji, in my opinion. He's coming now with 26 Arambais. Yeah. But look at the tower here. Purple is not Imperial Age. What now is CCM needed a castle here. You make a castle, trebuchet, and ba ba boom. But MBL is destroying yellow with the cataphracts. He's doing castles, okay. But he's killing. And blue is on the way to Imperial, guys. What is red doing now? Yeah. Arbalest with poles. Arbalest would make sense against the cataphracts. He's gonna go traps. He will. And now Gray is rebooming in the other area. Castle expected here by ACCN. The scores still say that Ganji team is ahead. Do you still think that Ganji team is ahead, guys? Oh boy. Oh really, boy. We'll see, guys. I don't think so, but still, we'll see. Yellow still have a lot of helps. They might be slinging him. And now... As soon as Teal is doing traps and kill purple, they cannot trade at all. They can go from Teal to Blue Area. Britos is gonna be back to business in a moment. He will need some help, probably. Yeah, but the NBL is doing a castle here, man. Disrespect! Disrespect the MBL playing insane now, killing purple completely, taking yellow as well, and MBL team seed 13, which is kind of hilarious, you know, with these players are willing to seed 
team number four. So you only can say that the seeding is probably not working this year. You know? Grace on the way to Imperial Fast Imp with 10 population. I have never seen this before. I've been casting 10 years. 10 years Age of Empires or 11, I don't know. I have never seen a player going up to Imperial with 11 population. Hype. Woo! Woo <laughs> insane. Seriously insane. All right. Look at the traps here coming from behind, doing more towers. Now, yellow is getting defeated because the scatterfrags are amazing. All right. And blue is in trouble against red. So, MBL need to help blue? Probably. Finally, this is doing a good job here, Ganji. But now, ACCM Korea is coming with the house, doing more towers. He will need Onagers. Green now doing Siege Workshop. And to be honest, what he need here? Siege Rams. Siege Rams and then you clean all this. We'll see. Blue has a skirmishes trying to repair this castle. And BL is still with Cataphracts, but you will need more army probably. Okay. Purple is still in Castle is forever, but Ganji now playing really nice. Trying to clean this in the middle. But then, in this area, is he gonna be able Korea to... Ooh, they wall it, man. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. So then you need to clean all this. But NBL is still in the middle. They cannot trade. Blue is gonna lose that castle. What is he gonna do here? NBL is doing Onagers. Onagers against this army. They don't have Siege Engineer. I mean, the thing is, they have one player completely dead, while Yellow is in a better position than Gray. You're right. So what is Gray going to do? Arbol is here. NBL, mistake in my opinion that he did almost zero damage to FedEx. And now FedEx, with poles, is in a position to do damage. To do real damage. He got a lot of skins, Blue. Yes, he has. But this is his lots of privileges. So now, this is a problem. This is a problem. What is ACCM going to do now? ACCM has 36 halberdiers. But that's it. That's not an old with Korea, in my opinion. But they are still in the middle. Are they going to kill Purple? Oh, boy. Oh, really, boy. The towers here are going to be able to do the damage to the Arambais. Not an old army. Oh, well. Oh, well. But the Cataphras are coming. Ones are coming, too. He need to help there. And he will. MBL is still not letting Yellow recover. That's the good thing. While Gray is already with five town centers. Yellow is gonna make a castle here. Yeah. And more and more cataphracts. Nobody trade here. Who need to trade? Crazy game, man. I love these games. This is the true Black Forest games. Do you agree or not? Amazing. Amazing game. Onager's coming. He's gonna try to make the job. Kill the Trevor. He's gonna shoot. No, it's not micro now. But guys, now the poles is dangerous. FedEx with Cavaliers and Arboles is gonna clean blue. So MBL need to help more here. Or they are still able to lose the game. Yes, they can. And Byzantine is not the best civilization in Imperial. Definitely not. Ballistic and Botkin now. Oh boy. Oh, really, boy? It's starting to make RG ranges here? I don't know for what, but it's still. ACCM Korea need to kill Purple. Purple is on the way to Imperial. Orange is still with 153 bullies and zero resources. Nobody trade here. So, let's see. Because MBL need to send Cataphrax here to, with the skirmishes, compete against the Cavaliers. Yeah, Cataphrax will kill Cavaliers, but need a lot more. Something else. And MBL... Try something really crazy, but it's not working. It's not working. He let blue die, and you needed the Britons. Or he should have killed red, because to be honest, yellow was behind already. And red, nobody has attack. FedEx. Oh boy. And now, ACCM can kill Burmese. With Korea, he sold. But are they killing or not? The thing is, yellow now 58 bullets. He's out of the game, I agree. But is this able to kill purple? Who is winning here, guys? I don't know. NBL team doesn't have army anymore. Or not an oath. Now he's doing the plus three. But it seems that Pulse is going to kill everything, man. Pulse power again in Black Forest. Aye, aye, aye. 
And Gray is still rebooming, but he still have no army. No army within Dustanis. Because he has no resources, man. Zero villages on gold. Oh boy. Oh really boy. He is still coming with more halves. Yellow. He's bye bye, guys. He has only one trebuchet. One trebuchet and nine halves. He's losing all. But the big problem here now for Ganji team is that purple also is dead. So two players dead per team. It's gonna be two versus two. It seems so. But now MBL is dying against red. Whoa! Is MBL going to die? Looks like he will. Yeah. FedEx with a total domination mode activated. Cleaning blue. Cleaning now MBL. And letting Pulse and Touch is a disaster. He can now go for cheap Cavaliers. A lot of Arbalest. I don't know if he's going to be able here to, to defend. The castles from uh, Byzantines are great. But... Ooh. And he's going to raid, man. He's going to raid Population MBL very solid. Yes. But... Well, he has resources here. ACCM killing purple as well. But if he kill purple, they're gonna kill then. Uh, they're gonna kill uh, Ganji. Obviously, they need to defend this. Because FedEx is going quick. He's going quick. FedEx army playing an insane game. Well, very nice. Very nice game. And FedEx doing the domination. The Argentinian player with 80 army now. Look at the military army from Ganji team. So, ACCM and MBL couldn't do the job. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you saw my reaction when I saw the MBL going directly and not doing damage to red. And he really never helped blue. MBL is a great player. And make crazy things. But sometimes those crazy things is, doesn't work for the team. And this time, it's not working, man, for the team. Yeah, Korea never got siege owners. Zero bullets on gold. Zero bullets. They have no goal, guys. They, 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 they are dying, man. Yeah, if he's not cleaning this, they die. And now yellow, 70 halves because he's getting a slink. Very crazy game and uh, super strong, man. Oh, I was telling that the seed 13 was winning to the four. Ah, Titanic, man, is not doing. He's not doing anymore. The score is still close, but he's going to be able MBL to hold this. Oh boy, Blue is... What? What's happening? Blue is still also recovered? Okay. He has some army, but now he's still ready to completely... Nah. Red is doing the job, man. Red is doing the job, and we're going to have a decider. And remember that now the decider, you know, is with MBL team without Siege Onager civilizations. So, what was the mistake here, guys? It was that he didn't, he never attacked here. Oh, now he's attacking. But now it's not a little bit too late. I think it is a little bit too late. Oh boy. We'll see. We'll see, guys, because Korea is still with a lot of army. ACCM, but he has no goal. Zero goal for, for him. Okay, purple also 50 villages. What the hell? Are they coming back? I'm telling you something. If they kill this... Oh my god. They, are they able to... What? Look at this, man. What's happening in this game? Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously... ACCM need to kill Ganji. And he can't because... ACCM got... Where's the bomber cannons? In the middle. Oh, he has gold here. Take the gold, man. Okay. Cavaliers. How about this for blue? This is so important, guys. If Britons is able to do halves and skirmishes, they may be... Nah. Nah. MBL getting destroyed at home is the key here. FedEx is still destroying. And well, well, well. Not looking good. Now the push forward and MBL is bye bye in the game. Unbelievable game. Game number five will happen. Sick. Six cities. Very fun game, but some decisions, you know. Some decisions that. Well, it was a hard one, but they never attack poles. We have said many times, and that's the key in the game.
They never attack. Well, and actually, they never attack Ganji at home either. Now he's coming here, but yeah, it's over, guys. It's over because now also ACCM base is getting destroyed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, Fedis and Ganji are playing as pocket, guys, because <laughs> red is the flank. Orange is the flank, and look what Red is doing. It's been already in the middle. Orange is gonna be in the middle as well, and both pockets from the Ganji team are dead. Right? Both pockets are red. Yeah? Pretty sick. Who don't like the Arambais? Elite Arambais with part and tactics. Thank you for the follow. Amazing, amazing game here. 102 army, guys. Siege Rams now. 62 Arbalists. 24 winged broken hussars. Winged broken hussars. Now blue with some army. How about this with not all the arborists, but still. And MBL. Still trying. But now MBL. He can't. And Gray. Oh, he's coming with light caps. How many arborists to the light caps? Plus one, plus two. Pretty sick. Doing markets here and taking the, more, the relic. Look at the farms. Remember that Gray did Imperial with 11 population, but. Korea going to skirmishes. They don't have anything. They don't have trade. Another TC here? He has the goal here. Where he's sending the values? What? I don't know. I think that they don't know what to do anymore. Well, be careful, man. I, I don't know. I I'm not able to say anything anymore. Military numbers. MBL team 170. Gandhi 188. But Poles is still coming. Fedex is still coming with a lot of army. Siege Rams. Then you want to kill Siege Rams with the skirmishes? It's going to be difficult. Lightcats are coming. Till ACCM somehow make that Ganji go back. Because they are still in the middle. This is the thing. But guys, yellow. Repart is finally recovering his base. So, if yellow now come here, he can clean all this area. Purple is now booming in the spot they can. Oh, are they gonna kill now poles? Oi, oi, oi. But guys, at some point, I'm not so good, but they will need trade or not. Yeah, Teal need halves. ACCM has all these cameras now. You need halves, amigo. He need halves as well. And how you kill this trebuchet? Onegers. I don't know. He has an Onager too, only. And they recover, man. Whoa, what the hell? And now Poles, FedEx, no gold, no food, no army, no nothing. Blue need Havardiers, military numbers, and village numbers more for MBL team. What's going on? What's really going on? Yeah, well, if they trade, but they need trade. Here now. Imagine Gray if he could do Hussars. He's doing all the light caps. They need to kill the siege. The key is the siege here. Ganji does have a lot of gold later. Are they trading or not? No trade at all. Crazy game for sure. Doing towers. These towers are gonna help. Yes, but he's in the middle. And now yellow. It's coming little by little. He clean all. And Repart can be the key. But he's here on this area. Yeah, and how about blue? Blue, not a lot of army doing how about this? The first trade cat in the game, guys. It's here. Let's go. Okay, and now? Are they cleaning the siege? They have to. They have to clean the siege. Is the key, but guys, MBL not micron. But he can spam. He can spam trash units forever. They are just going with the light caps to try to kill the onagers. But they can't. They have so many. So many Onegas and Arabais. They are trying. The tower is down, but now the Onegas is coming. He's gonna try to kill. He's gonna do the job or not. The Onega from Korea, not even Siege Engineer. No nothing. No nothing. My goodness. And here, how about this and skirmishes? He's still a spamming army. I don't know where to look. They are still coming here. More how about this from both players. And MBL in the middle, killing the stables. He needs to go to the left. Blue is gonna have all the upgrades. Plus four, plus four. That's crazy. On the right, still Ganji pushing. I believe that Ganji team will still win, but they're trying everything. And now yellow, finally, with trade. And it's spamming Halvardis forever. And it's starting to trade. I don't know where, but it's starting to trade. 
a sub game. They, they, they are struggling to finish because obviously these players never give up. But when you don't have resources, you can't do it. Purple is still dead. Okay. A military again in Ganji with more. And pushing again. Helps. He got helps. But yellow? Yellow got a lot now. A lot of helps. A lot of helps. MBL? Still have zero gold, 37 farmers, spamming shit units. Because his spikes are not even fully abraded. Okay, another TC. Three TCs in this area. But guys here. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. The honors, but he lost the honors, man. All the honors down. But he's gonna lose the honors too. Yeah, if he lose the honors, then now with the skims. No! Okay, he's gonna he's gonna take it now. Got it. And now they can clean this. Might kill all the siege. They might. They might do it. They are not trading still. And they are spamming everything. Blue is getting defeated now. Green is getting killed too. Envil does have resources. No goal. No nothing. He's here in the middle. But it's over, guys. Game 5 will happen. And uh, yeah. Two TCs in these areas. Not good. Kassar. How? I don't know how he's getting the goal to, to get Kassar's. He got a relic, maybe? Oh! <laughs> he has no goal, and look at this. Relic and the monastery. Good job. Tratek! Get the relic, man. What the fuck? Get the damn relic! Anyway, towers, owners, how about these? They're still in the middle. Obviously, Hazard gets a lot more, but not when your opponent has millions of halberdiers, but the skirmishes too. Then Hazard should be sent here. Well, it might be if MBL could have halberdiers as well. That will help also a lot. But they don't have anything. No resources. Plus four attack now. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Shoot the helms, man. It's not shooting. Nah. They are struggling, guys. They are struggling to finish it, but it should be over. Trade cards. Yellow with four. Trade card. Now Gandhi started to make trade too. Okay. They are recovering. Not yet, this area. Actually, this is giving a extra life. GG call! Fuck this game, man! Amazing! Let's go! <laughs> Craziest game so far of the tournament. Best game by far. Uh, do you agree? Best game by far, you know? Best game by far of the tournament. It's not the and best game is not about the quality of the game or if they take better or good decisions. The most fun, the craziest one. I really believe MBL did great, but MBL needed to kill Red. Why? Because MBL wanted to do a lot of damage and he did it, but he didn't count in the possibility that you will need your teammate, right? And Blue never recover. If he kill Red, if he kill Red and quick, Blue will never die. And Blue with Britons, Lombos, and Halves, or Arbalest, will recover all the map, secure this area, and push. And then there, it, it could be with Cataprax, stop yellow as well. But he went directly into yellow. He needed to do the first attack on red. When he delayed a little bit, then you move to yellow. He was super ahead to yellow still. I think that was the mistake here in this game, you know? Because like this, I think they will have won the game. Seriously. I think MBL should have attacked red, a hundred percent. You know, yeah, he killed a lot for sure. Gandhi a lot too. FedEx MVP in the game, MVP for sure. One hundred six largest army, one thousand units kills, double the KD than losses. Crazy, great economy. Gandhi sick economy and has linked twenty three thousand resources linked to everyone in the team as well. Trade guys, trading the game in a BF game. That last one hour and 10 minutes, the trade was 10. 10 trade, guys. That's talk how great was this game. Game five, let's go. Game five, guys. Decided game. And now, let's check the map. I really prefer civilizations for Ganji team, but... Everything can happen here. Ganji is flank Japanese and is facing gods. Well, Japanese guys is much better than gods. And gods is sending three villages. And he see it. He see it and he need to send another. 
Three villages is a good choice. It's a really good choice with this small area. Yeah. Let's focus. Now he needs to go back and he's gonna lose the the forward. This is really bad. So he needs to fight right now. Yeah, he has to fight. He's not gonna let it happen. Oh, oh it's not letting happen. In. This bad green is already here. Ganji is throwing. Yeah, this is bad. In this small spot, you don't want to do that. And now, he deleted. That's stupid now. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, he filled that with three. It's okay. Oh my god, he's not a stupid. Ganji is losing the game in the minute. Two guys. Whoa, for being greedy, guys. For being greedy. Lost to Billy is going to send more. Ay, ay, ay. Well, it's not that he lost the game, but he has no lake to record. Well, he has a lake at the back and that he will take it. He's going to go in. He shouldn't go in. He should use wall right now. It's against three villages. But he's still taking here. He's waiting. And? All right, in the other side, big battles too. Oh, he's losing now. Why is not walling, man? Aye, aye, aye. Look at the boxing gloves. Also give the, the, the situation something special, right? Now he's walling. All right. Nine villages, seven villages. Terrible. He's going to wall now? He will. He will need this dock. I don't know who is going to take it, but guys, in the middle, so open here. And we have a Sleepy Sweetie with the hands, Repart with Bulgarian's pocket, and FedEx Rabidian's flank taking here this area against Ratek Tatars. How is the Echo KD? Oh my god. Ratek, two villains down. Guys. Purple. Thank you for so many hours of amazing entertainment, Membluff. Oh, oh, MBL lost the scout. He lost the scout and didn't take his own ships. Not good, guys. And I'm going to tell you something. Who is this? Thank you so much. Okay, very important. Orange. Go, no. Go, go, man. Purple, with his scout, took two villages to gray. Now gray is going to try to walk here and he's... Dratek Tatars. Go here, man. There's no scouts. Go to this area. Wall in front. And now... Red is going to take three boars. Oh, with yellow help. What? Yeah. Rabidum! Vamos! The hype train is starting. Let's go, baby. Yellow here with the dog. These three boars are going to help a lot. Well, probably he's three billies behind, guys. Three billies behind. And he's not able to take the three boars, guys. Not for now. Okay, MBL has Franks, ACCM has Burgundians. Burgundians economy, but they in Imperial are kinda limited, but this map has not too many lakes. And it's so open, man. Wide open, I would say. Oh, he's blocking his opponent, his teammate. Yellow, Repart, don't block. Don't block the billion, man. Oh, Repart. Is Repart helping Ganji or he's against him, guys? What do you think, guys? I think Repart is an enemy. Oh, oh my god. Repart want Ganji to die. Not anymore. Okay, he's thinking now twice. All right. Yeah, it's perfect, Leary, man. Awesome. Really good. In line, it's straight. Great. 20 population up. He's gonna go scout. Poof. Well, blue is gonna be... Red is gonna wall. And purple need to wall here quick. Green is going to scout. And if he's doing that... It's a disaster if, if they're walling. It's a disaster if they're walling. Purple need to wall this area. And fast. Let's see if a Sleepy Sweet is going to go there. That Valir is going to be fine. Orange is wall okay. And MBL has Franks with fish. But they don't have siege. This is tricky, guys. Purple is going. Thank you for donating uh, uh, my puppy. A donation. Unbelievable. Steve Meister 96 donated 5 euros. Amazing. Wow, <laughs> Mem looking so handsome today. Wow, today? flex for us, please. Why today only, man? What the hell? 
Blue going for a Obama, for a Barack. Well, guys, they really want to go aggressive. They know that their sieves are shitty. But Gray? Gray is so behind. He's up now to Feudal Age. With 20 population. Oof. Well, you better wall fast. Yeah. He feels he feel scary, man. And he's gonna wall. Red. Need to come with Velis, guys. Oh, God. He's super far, guys. He's super far. He saw the Barak. No, Red need to send Velis, guys. He's gonna send a Velis right now. He's on a timer, guys. He's super far. He's super far. Maybe that board. Just take one. Just take one. Ganji, take one. Ay, ay, ay. He's coming. He's gonna break it, man. Oh, man. He's gonna break it. Disaster. Disaster. They need to walk here, guys. They need to walk closer. They need to walk closer. He's gonna wall or not? He's gonna be in time. He's on a timer. The mana times are gonna be there. He's gonna be really quick. He's gonna be down super quick. Oh, he sweets it. Fail. He failed! He switched it for a moment, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be! Chaos! Titanic! By Ganji, he lost the village. He's still open. RTD range, more houses. He need to wall everything. Now purple need to wall this area or gonna be in a terrible position. But the wolf, the wolf, the wolf. He's coming with the scouts. He's on a timer. He's not gonna be in time. He's not sending more bullies. And green has a scout as well. They are going full aggressive. And ladies and gentlemen, ACCM stonewalls, but not in time. Gate is not in time. They are gonna break here. The scouts are coming, but... Market and Blasmith with ACCM already on your base with the Loom. Okay. Oh. And they fail, guys. They are failing big time. Incredible game. Now they're going to start to wall. Red is stone walls. They're walling. They're going full aggressive. The maps is shitty. Wall here, man. Why you are not walling here? Wall here, man. It's not walling, man. Well, it's not walling, and now the scouts are inside. Blue is coming with Manatams and Villiers. And you know what? They are gonna make the chaos happen while well, MBL is doing a sick boom into Paladins. You know, they try to make this chaos happening, then they don't have a free boom anyone. And why Yellow is not walling himself? Repart. Why Yellow is not walling here himself? Explain me, guys, why. Because I don't know. One volley down here. And now it's coming with the men at arms and the villages. Why also purple is not walling now? I don't know. But blue is coming with a tower here. Yellow now also gonna, gonna be dead. And we'll see. We'll see what is gonna happen. Orange FedEx Castle Age. Let's see the decisions he's gonna take now with Ravidians. He's gonna boom. Yellow one, two, three tone centers. But purple. He's doing a counter tower here. Now, RTD range. It's mining gold. And that tower is not good. It's a panic one. And now there's another tower that is better. He has a market. He's going to buy a stone. No, he can't. And that wood is going to be in danger. Still now, they are going to yellow. Because yellow is doing what? A bar right now. But why he didn't stone wall here? Remember, guys, Bulgarians. This is cost 50 stone. You make a stone wall. And you don't have problem to make tone centers. And the TC is going to be up. Oof. In the last second. In the last second, amigos. Yes, he's up. But, guys, is Repar playing great this series? Eh. You know? Eh. I will say that, you know? Not so great, if you ask me, you know? Not so great. It's still, more fish. Make a galley here, man. Make a galley or you will lose the fish, too. And now Ganji need to wall here. If he's not walling, Ganji is also in troubles. Ganji need to wall this area. He's not doing a gate himself, which surprised me. Oh.
You know? Who is this, right? Well? Oh. Okay! Blue, Blasmith, with five abilities. At the end, they didn't do that massive damage because Calvarses now are coming. And Purple has Fizz also here, recovering really well, and Orange is booming. But guys, Ganji, fail. Titanic as well, right? So can I play that, guys? 27 bullies, guys. 27 bullies. Yeah, but he he's he's walling the wolf. Very important. Why he didn't wall here when he saw that everyone is going aggressive and attacking? He has wall, stone wall, stone wall, stone wall, and then he leaves this open. Now he forced himself to do what? Well, he's in a problem. For scouts being annoying. Purple? Now? Ooh. Okay, truth. Blue is on the way to Castleage, but it's still gonna be more behind than, than Ganji because Ganji have second TC coming. Yellow is doing a stable. Okay, he did a stable and he's gonna clean this. But as I told you, MBL boom, 61 villages, guys. Oh, oh, baby. But Fire Gal is too. Okay, he's gonna lose this one. Well, this is going to be annoying, but Red now is inside. What else is he going to do? Maybe a monastery? Yeah, a monastery. You see, guys? Let's go. A monastery. An MBL cannot stop that. Well, he can do a tower. And I will do a tower if I was MBL. The wolf is not going to help. A tower here, because with the tower you kill the villager. And you kill potential monks. He's doing houses. Okay. And he's doing the tower. We know something, guys, in this channel. But guys, Purple, with the cap archers, is now creating chaos to blue. And he's recovering the walls. Those villains are, are going to die. Yeah. Orange, guys, again, uh, seriously, is gonna be in a sick situation. Mmm, Gray is still in the game because of the damn fish, but doesn't matter. Boom is gonna be much better. The villain from Red is dead. He's dead. So, right now, he should cancel the monk. And Ganji, oh, he's going to, to do what? Convert? Nothing. Cancel that monk. No, it's not gonna cut. Ooh, it's still it's still worth it, guys. It's still worth it if he kill if he kill the fish. It's worth it for sure. You know because he has he had a very smooth economy, and now he's gonna lose a lot. And this is a lot of a lot of fish that is in danger. Well, he should do a demo even. Well, killing fish. Yeah, he's okay. You know he has three theses, and now green. Ooh, not to stone walls. ACCM. You need to stonewall these, the, the, the Custelier. Oh man, you're not gonna stop the Custelier. Aye, aye, aye. He still didn't wall. He has to wall. Yellow is gonna explore this area, but Custelier, holy shit. Now, those villains are going to die. He's gonna kill it. Yes, they kill. But here, Custelier, guys. Custelier by green. And this is the real problem. If the game keep open... Is this wall? I think it is, but... Imagine that is open. That will be a disaster. I think it's wall. Alright. And blue is fully open. Woo! Okay. They're gonna raid. It's another crazy game. I love it. Now they're trying to wall. Okay. Monastery. The Custilias just kill all. They kill all. You need monks, but... They, they really kill a lot. I mean, the first kid just dominate. Remember, it's gonna make some walls or not. But how they forget to wall this? That's, that's hilarious. Anyway, guys, FedEx is on the way to Imperial with Dravidians. Uh, he's gonna cut and gonna destroy Gray. Is FedEx again gonna be the MVP? Maybe. Definitely maybe. He has a lot of cab arches. I think Ganji team is reacting pretty well uh, to this situation. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, with this crazy aggressive gameplay, MBL is up 
25 minutes, 113 villages. I know that yellow is up too. This is dangerous, man. This is very dangerous because now they need to rewall here. And they need to rewall. Well, if they wall here, maybe. Nah. And Biel is gonna be so dangerous here. Like, really dangerous. I don't know. He's trying to rewall. They know that he has to wall to stop that. He's got, and he's sending nine villages. Is the right decision, guys? A hundred percent. But the NBL will still do Onagers, you know? With a crazy, a crazy economy. But remember, red, now, after all this crazy madness, is ahead to blue. And I prefer Japan over, over this civilization a hundred percent. He has to be careful. He's converting a, a ooh. That's why he sent so many. You need to wall and stop him coming. But wall this, man. Oh my God, he's open still. Well, if he convert one, no, he's not converted. Oh, in the last second, in the he need to wall no matter what. I think he can now wall. Maybe not. No, man, he cannot wall. He's a wall this area. He's not walling. I think the sleep is really. Hmm. But guys. Orange? What is he doing, Orange? Is an Imperial gonna... Could here? Probably not. Orange need to come to middle. Uh, stop going... Uh, stop going here. FedEx need to go to the middle. And help. He has 94 values, but he need to go to the middle and help. Or it is a big deal. Well, he's not coming to the middle. No, no, he's here too. Yeah, he's here with the Paladins. If he's not coming to the middle, oh boy. Repart will have what? What is Yellow doing? Conic? He's really doing Conics against Paladins? Guys, this is a game that only going helps and Samurais? Tell me what army NBL team has. If they only go helps and Samurais, what army they have? Please, can you tell me? Just wall. He's not, he's not watching. Yeah, now he, do, he does. And he's not walling here. He's not walling here. Oh, man. Purple, you need to wall your base. Okay, the conics are coming. Not fully abraded. And orange? He's still going, guys. Killing Valleys. And where's the halves from orange? He got 14 halves. Remember that the halves from orange are sick. Really strong. But they are not going to the middle. The conics are good. But the, the crystalier and the cavaliers... It's domination. Go to the other side. You need to wall to this area. They are still open, remember. Fully open if they notice. They are still open. Crazy. Orange is coming here, but these fortified walls. And it's not going to be easy to, to, to cut this. I mean, you can cut around, but why they are not going to the middle? I have no clue. I really have no clue. Anyway, red is almost getting uh, open here. Gray is now on the way to Imperial. And here in the middle, look at the castle Green is going to do on his face. I have said that Fedez has been playing so solid and very strong. Till now. Till this game. In this game, in my opinion, right now, it's pure Titanic. You know? Because am I in these Halvardiers from Orange? What they could do in the middle? A lot, guys. A lot. I know that the score is still ahead, but... I don't know. Let's see. They might be come back into, into the game. But they are getting a purple base. He's in castles. He's doing two castles forward. And Orange is still attacking walls, guys. Attacking walls. Aye, aye, aye. He's not, he's not attacking player seven. He's attacking walls of player seven. And here? They're going to die as soon as they, they break in. Yeah, it's... It's incredible. I don't understand these, these decisions here. Red is on the way to Imperial. Now he's going to wall this area. He's going to be wall. Okay. But these walls are very, very hard to sustain, to maintain. Really, really hard. Is it still not even wall? Venga, hambre. And hambre. A tu casa. Deserve to lose the game, guys. What the hell? Okay, he's elite. He's not elite conic yet, but this is huge. An orange. 
is still attacking walls. You know, he's still attacking walls. How is this even possible, man? Oh, man. He rewall now, but man, seriously. Come to the middle. Why he's attacking there? What the hell? Well, it's true that Grey has no army, but... But, but, but Purple, man, if he was here, they would be great position. Yellow is still a spamming army. They are pikes. They are not el elite conic now. Okay. But Purple is going to be an Impedal and he's going to make halves. Okay. This is going to be Samurai's. Red is an Imperial faster than his opponent. They, they, they can hold? Are they going to be able to hold MBL and ACCM in the middle? Is he going to rewall these or not? This is Elite Conic. Is it? Now how are these? Look at Repart. Repart is playing now like a beast in the last undecided game. And now he's inside. And then I will have to shut up and you're going to tell me, man, you noob. That's why you don't play in the Raid Forest. Are they, are they, is this working? And, 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 what, 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 what is this? How this is working? Unbelievable, man. Seriously unbelievable. I mean, they have three, one, two, three, four castles on their bases, but now Gray. Now Gray's out of the game. And here, tell me, guys, what the hell is this game? Seriously. How said he cannot, they cannot even trade. Do you think, guys, Repart listened to me when I say that Repart was playing? Eh. Look at his population now. Full elite conics. How are these hands doing house, which is great? They stopped the push completely. And now, MBL need Axemans against this army. But they're gonna clean everything in the middle. And the most important here, you know what it is? Tell me, please, what gods can do against Japanese. Because if you go now full traps and samurais, what gods can do? And cannoneers, then you go arbalest. And remember that Japanese has can cannoneers too. Gods die against Japanese big time. It's incredible game. I mean, it's an incredible game, honestly. I really don't know also why Dratek has been so slow. And now that he has been 10 minutes attacking here, FedEx is inside with Onegers, with Halves, Yellow, Banking. He's gonna give resources to Ku, to a Sleepy Sweetie. But look at this. Purple is just doing Halves with the hands. Why not, right? Why not? And now Franks, unable to do anything. Guys, oh, the button. We might see the button by 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 ACCM. 170 billion is the button. The button. Ooh. Are we? Is he gonna click it? Is he gonna click it? He's gonna make the button or not? 168 billion. He has a lot of tone centers. How many? So many. He has all the abris now, so we might see the button. Remember that he's banning King of the Desert, but this is different. Team game. The button. Flemish Revolution. Flemish Revolution. And there you go. Now, let's see how the damn fuck are going to stop now those Flemish militias in the middle. The button is being activated. Obviously, he will have to reboom. He's doing, and they will slink into Raboon. It's a team game. So this tech can be very dangerous. Doing castles and all the Flemish militias coming. They are so strong, remember. It's really strong. 75 HP, 16 attack, crazy armor, and now... Oh my god. Okay, we'll see. It's true that here, they're still destroying. You know? They're still destroying. They have to wall more. Okay. And he's even sending Flemish. Well, now he ha they have army. NBL team has 244 army, Gandhi 160. <laughs> I can't believe that we watch this again. Do they have a, a no threats to kill? Look at these units. 
176 army and he can still oh my god we'll see they're rolling here now with the cab archers it should be hard but he's here almost with the flame with, also with the flemish militia grace now with 78 villains they have they will have to to slink and they can slink i believe they have resources so they can send resources to ACCM to recover, he has already 30 villages, okay, and now they have to trade, but guys, who is doing hand cannoneers is the Japanese, and those towers are pretty sick, let's see the gods, 162 villages, no army, Ganji, mm, this is a cataparuto, cataparutito, amigos, the trebuchet trying to kill the bomber cannons, but guys, in the middle, the damn Flemish revolution is still doing the damage Palad is here to raid but yellow very smart and his wall you need to lock the gate now don't let it open please he locked the gate very nice very good play here and they stop it now the trade is obviously going away you need to open the gate again the castle is still alive the flemish gave them an extra life but seems that it's not working i think they are stopping it they can stop it or not guys it seems they do. It seems they stop. Blue is here holding a little bit. But they read a little. And now more and more Cavarges. I don't know. Paladins as well. Halvardi is coming. The trade they have. Orange need to go fast and pu -pu push. Really? Because Grey has only half now with what? <laughs> the Tars halt. Okay. The Tars halt. But guys. They need to kill those trebuchets. They are still in the middle. The good thing, they stop the push from from Ganji team, but they cannot push them anymore. 220 army, and Ganji team is just playing now much better, like much better. And let's be honest, let's is still again. Seriously, the civilization draft. Now you can see how Ganji. In the draft, definitely outplay completely NBL team. For sure, you know? Like, 100%, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, he's not doing Samurais, uh, Ganji. He's not doing Samurais, actually. I don't know why. Samurais eat the... the, the eat the huge kills, man. Why he's not doing Samurais? It's, it's so weird to me. It's really weird, but he's not doing Samurais. In this spot, they hold already... Now he's rebooming, 89 villages, 10 army only. Now they're gonna clean everything again. And when he go in, Orange, that don't have yet Siege Owners, but has again a lot of army. Ooh, you really sword, man. Okay, we'll see. Great guys, Dratek has died again. He has died, he has died again. But why not Samurais, man? Yeah, no summaries. It's kind of weird. The gods is holding here, and with bomber cannons, he's doing the job. And with the bomber cannons, he's attacking here. Yeah, he's so many hand cannons. He need to make the tower, and he will. All right, and now, oh, crazy in this area. Nah, no problem. They hold completely. MBL need trade. He has seven trade cards. In 48 minutes, if you have francs and you don't have trade, you're dead, guys. Because you don't have any resources. What do you do with Franks with you if you don't have trade? Yeah, I don't know why MBL trades super late. He has the Axemans here, but now Orange is gonna come. And ladies and gentlemen, crazy. Crazy, but Ganji team came back. So maybe, maybe who who make the the the, the seeding they were right? Obviously, MBL team is a very hard team to, to, to take because they have great players, MBL and ACCM uh, melee. But they need to make better draft, guys. I don't know if you agree or not, but in some of the matchups, the civilizations wasn't definitely the better. The best, in my opinion. Like, I mean, a decided game with France, Gauss, Burgundians, and Tatars. Holy shit, man. Taz. Taz. That's rough, you know? Really rough. That's why they try to go super aggressive. Because they know that the longest the game goes, the impossible is going to be. And now... Halvard Diaz, Hand Cannoneers, Trebuchet, Siege Owners, Siege Owners here. They are gonna take this. And what army is doing now, Green? Well, it's doing Khazars against three civilizations with Halves, guys. 
ACCM is gonna do Hazards now instead of Hand Cannoneers. Because remember that Burgundians get one of the strongest Hand Cannoneers in the game. Why? You know? Why they have one of the strongest Hand Cannoneers in the game? Because they, they have plus four extra attack, you know? Yeah. Okay, they, they keep going. And well, this has been a very fun series to watch. With some weird gameplay sometimes for ACCM here, like this Hazard option, I don't understand. Even more when you have some resources. To do Hazards make Paladins, right? They have 50% 50 cheaper upgrades. And now Gandhi here with the domination. Oh boy. Yeah, more towers, trebuchets. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Seven trebuchets, guys. Seven trebuchets. My goodness. Okay, remember that now GG call Ganji team made the comeback and bada boom oh. and again well in this one red part played amazing like in this one red part played amazing seriously because when ACCM and MBL both came the amount of army red part got let's be honest it was crazy or not he got Conix, Havardi is a lot of army. Really, really a lot of army, you know? They always lose when they push together. You are right. So, military, as you can see, he killed a lot, MBL. Yeah. But even with the button and everything, didn't work. Repart, in my opinion, even if his KD was terrible, he did great. And FedEx at the end, 90s is army. My goodness. Amazing series. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Thumb up on YouTube, subscribe, leave a commentary, everything. It helps the channel a lot. And it's what it is, guys. We'll play.